And I was supposed to be late, so... No, I know. That's funny. I was getting my hair cut, so... I do not know what this game is about, but I saw old gods, so... City history. By the way, I was gonna ask you, since you're into SCP stuff, did you ever play Control? You already asked me this before. And did you answer? I don't, I don't remember this. I did, I told you that I did not play Control. Oh, okay. It I think seemed, you would it like seemed, it. It seems neat. Um, as with most of the Remedy games, uh, their story seems very intriguing and very much up my alley, but the gameplay seems really fucking boring, at least to me. Ah. Wait, I got Wait, what's my stats? One damage. Plus one damage roll. I have nicotine withdrawal. Whoa. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Wait, do I have I have cigarettes though? How many cigarettes do I have? Just the one? Is that it? All right. Well, that's going to suck, but whatever. Uh this game is a um it's a horror themed like I don't even really know how to describe it. Like it's basically a roguelike because the idea is that you always start from square one and you're trying to defeat the old god that you established at the beginning. But um, you got here uh, just in time for me to have lost the last game that I did where out of the five investigations, because you have to do five investigations and then you have to fight the old god, essentially. Um, I died on my sec or my third investigation, so I, made so I didn't even make it halfway. Wow. The game is extremely difficult. <laughs> So this is my max stamina. I haven't taken any damage yet, so I should probably just get my XP boost. It's not a lot. Are you a Yakuza? I... Or a this, detective? The character that I am playing right now uh, is a former Yakuza driver, correct? Coolio. So that means that I have increased strength. Like, the default for everything is about 5. So I'm kind of dumb, but I'm pretty <laughs> strong. I'm kind of dumb. Okay. I think I Oh, dude, I can give him a. Oh, I can give a samurai outfit. I'll give him mafia. That looks dope. And then there's a little mafia. fun. Did you did you see that little like picture I sent you? Just earlier, yes. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, hat and time when I saw that. Mm. Uh, ramen sold inside or features can cure any more problems. All right, that's probably not suspicious. I think that means I have the uh, regrettable tale of rancid ramen, though. Not rancid ramen. Uh. Oh, I wait. Do I? No, I don't. Oh, that sucks. That's one of my. That's one of my favorite. Uh. It's one of my favorite investigations because it's so easy. <laughs> uh. Let's do freaky feature of found footage. Sounds good to me. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends in the nearby forest. I don't know what this one's inspired by. Now, on the first anniversary of the event, a suspicious man... Uh, claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he? What does he do? Okay. So this is basically the bread and butter of the game. These buttons down here represent the different locations in the city. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one that is circled is the space that you need to investigate <clears throat> in order to progress the story. But you will always have at least one optional objective, which you should almost always do, or else you're going to die. And then additionally, you can also essentially use up a turn. Every turn that you do, uh, you see how there's like a doom tracker? A doom meter? Wow. So, nice. remember how I told you how you have to beat five 
uh, like you have you have to you have to successfully complete five investigations, and then you have to beat the Elder God. Yeah. You have to do all of that before Doom reaches a hundred percent, because if oh that happens, God. the world just ends. So every time you that. every time you take a turn, I want to say it's one or two percent random uh, Doom that you gain. So that means on average you get about fifty turns. But there are so many actions and random events that occur in the game that'll just give you like plus four, plus eight, plus six, and it's wow. like, oh my god, it's it's quite it's quite nerve wracking. I'm going to equip this. Wait, no, I can't. Okay, I could sell them for money, which is nice. Uh, let me go. Let me go downtown and let me go to this doggo. <laughs> He's the shopkeeper. Uh, <laughs> ooh, dude, an early compass. I want a Shiba Inu as a shopkeeper. An early compass is really nice, because that means I'll be able to boost my... Yeah, see, look, just from that one action, I got four doom. <laughs> compass again, but I can't. <laughs> uh, until the end of the current mystery, that's not bad. My dexterity's not bad, though. Steak knife! Dude, I need a weapon. Give me that. You're gonna fight an elder god with a... just a knife? Uh, Is that the how one it run that I... the one run that I, like, successfully, uh, beat the elder god in, uh, this was a while ago, there's been a lot of updates since then, um, early on in one of the investigations, I got a baseball bat. Which, the thing with the baseball bat is that the higher your strength, the higher its chance of stunning the enemy is. So I would literally just fucking home run swing enemies over and over. And then I got a that random sounds hilarious. And then I got a random event later where I had the option of putting a nail through the bat, which means that I couldn't use the bat for intimidation purposes anymore. Like you could like formerly you could use the bat to like if you were interrogating someone, you could use the bat to threaten them and it was really effective. But once you put the nail through it, you would basically just attack them instead of threatening them. But it was Ooh. like, but I, I think I was like halfway through the final mystery, and so I was like, sure, whatever. So I put the nail through the bat, suddenly the damage of the bat like doubled. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and lo and behold, I, because uh, you don't actually fight the Elder God, that doesn't make any sense. But he, uh, they typically have like some sort of like cultist at the top of the lighthouse that's like defending them. And so mm -hmm. lo and behold, <laughs> we start the fight, and I just go, batter up! <laughs> just like oh my nearly God. one shot the guy. It was so funny. Yeah, but the thing with the the thing is that if you if you start investigating, because there's a lot of combat in this game, if you start uh, combat without a weapon, you're not exactly fucked, but you're gonna take a lot of damage that you didn't need to take. Because um, you have two options without a weapon, you can either do hand to hand combat, which to be honest, this character is particularly good at, or you can get an improvised weapon, which will either be a stick. Or a broken bottle. The broken bottle is pretty good, but it breaks at the end of combat. The stick does not, but it's fucking garbage. It's barely better than your fist. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Alright, so investigate the mansion twice. So let's investigate the mansion. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna check out the masks. Ooh! Nice. Did I lose anything for that? Is it real? Did I really just get this mask? Oh hell yeah, dude! I will absolutely wear that. That does look horrifying. That's funny. Saba, you don't even know yet. <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, There's a... I can tell so far with the way this is going. It's kind of like an Uti Jinjo or Ito Jinji. You mean Jinji Ito? But yes. Whichever. Uh, yeah. That's you one know of the uh, one of the one of the mysteries is literally uh, Uzumaki. Wow. So, yeah. You're going to die then if that's the case for Uzumaki. Oh, believe me. These uh, they're they're pretty bad. But uh all right, let's investigate here again. Okay, I got something for my compass. Uh-oh. Okay, well that's not great. Watch uh, what <laughs> watch this actually just be Uzumaki that just starts happening. No, no, no. I I know the name of the I know the name of the one that's that's Uzumaki, but um Okay, I can also go to the library or the schoolyard. I don't really care about either of those things, though. 
the 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 thing is is that this game is still early access and I follow the guy on Twitter who who's designing the game and cool. he is constantly doing like little like adjustments and nitpicks and stuff like that. So the game is fantastic. It has so much content and it's so good, but certain things just fundamentally change. <laughs> you know? Oh so, yeah. Like one, uh, like in the most recent update, which actually just came out today, it's to like celebrate Halloween or whatever. But in this, uh, in this update, he uh, modified how the timeline system works. <clears throat> Excuse me, because formerly the way that the timeline system worked was that um, there would be you would get uh, r so you just saw I just completed like two random events, right? The random events would be in a category with up to four other uh, mysteries or random events that are all together. And so, if you complete one of them, you don't get any of the rest, right? So, you, so that means you're that means you don't get similar random events too often. Now it's completely changed, where based on whether or not you succeed or fail, it's like this ridiculously complex like logic tree of what you will and will not get. And so suddenly my knowledge of like okay these two so if i get this that means i can't get that if i get this that means i don't have to worry about that now that's out the window and i'm like fuck <laughs> uh... all right so we're at the school let's investigate if i go to the schoolyard i might be able to get an ally too but i'm not sure about that no i lost a stamina <clears throat> um it's a village not far from town uh i can't Uh, you know what? Let's try to get an ally. Let's see if we can Let's share a creepy story. Pool. I'm going to observe. Okay, they seem relaxed. I'll. Uh, I think. So you know, by the way, that this whole thing is happening with the god and like doomsday and everything. So it should be noted that in terms of a very strict narrative perspective. Uh, the moment-to-moment -moment story doesn't actually make any fucking sense. Um, we... There, there is technically, in the narrative, there is a group of five friends who are all investigating the Elder God at the same time. However, during a, uh, a playthrough, you never meet any of them. <laughs> you never interact with any of them. And you're wow. the only one who ends up fighting the boss at the end. You know what I mean? So that doesn't really happen. But, like... There's stuff where, like, towards the end of the game, after you beat each mystery, um, a different affliction will affect the town. Um, they start off, like, innocuous, like, you know, radio signals stop working, or the sun takes longer to rise in the morning. You know, stuff like that. Well, that one's way more innocuous. The sun takes longer to rise. That versus, like, a thing. <laughs> um, but then later, you'll get, you'll get uh, events that are, like... Uh, yeah, all the trees uh, suddenly burned up overnight. You know what I mean? Like, like you'll get yeah. events that you'll get <laughs> events like that, and it like stresses everybody out. But then you, but then like you'll encounter a random event where like a dude asks you for change to ride the bus, and if you, <laughs> and if you give him the change, he'll like steal your wallet. And it's like these, are, uh -huh. like you're still dealing with stuff that doesn't make any fucking sense. So to answer your question, <laughs> yes, we do know that there is an elder god that's about to destroy the universe. But, but I am here at school talking to these four high schoolers about gossip. Oh my god. Um, I kind of want to ask her to join. Damn it. Uh, so it's, shaken. it's just a story, right? Oh man, I did get five experience for that though. I can also stab her. Um, you wanted an ally, so I don't think stabbing will help you. No, there, there, uh, <laughs> there, uh, I, I don't remember exactly who it is, but there's a, one of the allies, at least formerly, one of the allies is based on, uh, what's her is face she from, well, what, one of her face, uh, what's her face from, uh, Mirai Nikki. And, uh, oh, and so no. the idea is that she will only join you, and I don't remember what she looks like, and I don't remember her name in this. But she will only join you if you stab one of the other people at the school. And then she'll be like, yeah, sure, I'll join you. And it's like, man, this is fucked. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Oh, the com a computer program? Mo most of this is nonsense. It doesn't mean anything. I will tell you another. There's probably... I 
I think it would be hilarious if, if I they referenced wait, a I lot of horror XP? movies. Oh, I am losing XP. <laughs> but why? Oh! Because if you tell a scary story, they'll join you. <laughs> so I basically just traded 15 XP for three fucking allies. <laughs> I got plus one strength, minus one knowledge. Oh, no. <laughs> and minus one perception. <laughs> Well, you're you're more All right, well, than before. No, 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 it's okay cuz um I can I can use these people um to my advantage lately. <laughs> or, or later. <laughs> um here, let's talk to you. All right, you're all just smiling faintly. She's good. I want her. Look, I have 9 strength now. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> fucking good. Hi, I would like to <laughs> stab you. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, and I don't have, uh, yeah, I don't have the XP, so I gotta leave. Um, all right. Later, I'm just shoving your friends in my backpack and. <laughs> no, they're, no, they're walking away with me. Which, by the way, I don't go to that school. I'm 25. <laughs> I know, which is with that wearing that mask. Too, yeah, wearing this mask you. while smoking. <laughs> God, I love, I love this game. It makes no sense. All right, uh, we got the steak. Dude, we're we're fully stocked up. We got allies. We got we got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> my party. Oh my gosh, that that part, that's funny. The party. I'm gonna confront the stranger. Oh, dude, charisma check. Uh, it's kindly old. He's a kind old lady. Oh, dude, we can go back to the we can go back to the school and get more people. All right. Um. Yeah. Um. This. So okay, so one of the one of the mysteries is like the eerie epithet of evolved eels or something like that, and uh, you are guaranteed if you succeed that mystery to get the neighbor as your ally, and she is by far the best ally. Well, actually, that's not true. She's tied for best ally in the game, where uh, not only does she get, I think she gives you like strength and charisma, and she also gives you a chance to uh, attack twice during a turn, wow, that, which that you'll see. Really nice. It's really good, right? Uh, she's tied with uh, a dog. <laughs> where the dog oh my God. the dog can hold three items and if you give him, if, if at least one of those items is a weapon, he'll use the weapon in combat to fight with you. <laughs> it's really good. Wow. Um, but that's the thing, so you can also just, you can also expend Doom to try to get her just anyway. So. Oh, I see. Alright, let's go to the village. <clears throat> God, we have so many people. Uh, it's going to stay, however, because the four of us don't escape. Uh, let's take the safe route just to keep. Yeah, that's fine. Plus two doom. We're only on the first investigation. Oh shit. Okay, I hate these. <laughs> uh, sudden storm forces you into a cave. My knowledge check fails. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Don't I? What do I get? Yeah, I'm about to say, if I ever fight a boss, remind me to smoke a cigarette real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, because if, well, if I do, I get plus one damage <laughs> on a steak knife that already does three. Uh, your fists deal one, and then a stick deals one and is faster, by the way. Like, that's like your default is one damage. Oh. Okay. Uh, side of the ritual. <clears throat> okay. In the basement area, you find a camera pointing a large hole in the ground. Um, one of the missing friends. Uh, I hear a sound coming from the hole. What should I do? <laughs> you know what, Saba? What do you want me to do? Keep in mind that I am strong and dumb. Okay. So I can either um... take the cassettes and run. Or peek inside. It, 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 uh, this actually translates very well to Monster Camp, because these are basically both just stat checks. Um, well, what, how, like, what stat check you think it would be take cassettes and run? It would probably be, like, dexterity and strength, maybe? And then peek inside, I think. Peek inside, I think might, and peek run. inside might... Peek inside might be, like, a luck check, because there's also a hidden stat called luck. It might be like luck and perception, and yeah, no, I, and, and I think it your might and, probably better. And it, and it might 
uh, and it might give us like more to investigate. Do you think you're gonna win that though? Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Oh, it's a big okay. eyeball. <laughs> Lose consciousness. I knew. I mean, I just. <laughs> I did. Let me tell you right now. I did tell you to not. You did do tell it. me to not peek in the hole. This is true. You lean down, lean forward to see what's inside the hole. It takes a while to process what you're looking at, but it's a gigantic eye. Hypnotized, you lean in, feeling weaker and weaker as the gargantuan beast lures you in. I lost consciousness, and that's the end of the mystery. But I didn't lose anything. Oh, you just fainted and... Uh, well, yeah. at, at, at the very last moment, a suspiciously tall man grabs you by the collar. He explains his part, uh, he is part of a cult protecting the house and the mysterious entity below it. You got a bigger purpose than to die here, he says before knocking you out. You wake up a few hours later on a bus heading back to town. Uh, Alright, so that was ending B. So ending B usually means that that's a failure. Uh, hello, Fitzful. Is that dad? <laughs> I'm, wa I'm, wa I'm wondering, because uh, that's dad's email. <clears throat> okay. Uh, knowledge is key. Gain 30 experience. Did we level up at all? I don't remember. Or did I spend all my XP on high school girls? Oh, it is dad's. Dad is watching the stream. I'll try to behave. Hello. This is Saba. Dad's dad. Yes. Danger oh, shit. There's rioters now. That's not good. Uh, rioters means that you can... Yeah... Actually, do I have any funds? I don't have any funds, so I wouldn't really be going downtown anyway. Oh, I take the key. Okay, let's take a bath. I have to get onto Twitch, just in case. What do you mean, get onto Twitch? Well, I wasn't on Twitch before. I'm think so. Oh. Don't forget, I'm your mod. I gotta... I you gotta are my mod. Ban my dad. I don't want him to be here. <laughs> no! I'm not gonna ban your dad. Rude. I'm pretty sure. How much? Uh, how much stamina and reason did we start off with? I think it was like 17, right? So I don't think we took any damage from that last one. You didn't even lose reasoning. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, it still looked dope as hell in my mafia. You stand in front of the mirror, looking, wondering good. which outfit to wear. Looking good, and this is a movie poster for a movie that I don't know. There's a lot of references in this game to things that I don't know. Oh, let's peek outside. Oh! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Probably just my imagination. Under most circumstances, peeking through the hole doesn't really do anything per se, but ev uh, but once in a very long while, uh, it'll either be uh, a salesman who will trade you one fund for a random item, which usually is a really good deal, or It'll be an uh, I can't remember what it, I think it, I think their name is literally Home Invader, and you fight them, and if you beat them, you get a baseball bat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but I don't like the, the idea. The mighty baseball bat. I don't like the idea of the Home Invader just beating down your door and being like, yeah. <laughs> it's really <laughs> spooky. There's right. an earthquake in the seaside region. Has a real dimension to a partially flooded cavern system. Local signs that believe some of the corridors would be man-made. Is that, is was that, that was that a good t TV impression? I'll say that's not bad. Okay, uh, let's. You know what? Do I have anything in storage? I got nothing in storage. I got cigarettes. I got my compass. I got my mask. You know what? We're good to go. What do we let's need to do? On. Next investigation. Oh, I tried this one before and died like twice. Uh, chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. Uh, curious case of a contagious coma. Dude, this one... I, I might not actually be able to beat this one, because you need to do a lot of knowledge checks in order to pass it. Then that one does not sound like a good idea. A macabre memoir of morbid, of morbid mermaids? You want to do that Are one? Are you ready later for alliteration, Zach? Because that's... <laughs> that's your <laughs> job, not mine. You know what? Well, let's exactly let, let's go hang out with mermaids. So you can see here it says uh, endings discovered, and it gives you, and it says like out of whatever. The higher the mm -hmm. number, the like more complex the the investigation is. So what it's was like, the red coat? Did you do it before? You wanted? Well, uh, I I apparently did this. I don't remember this though. 
Because I'm once again, I am in the the Ito one. Junji or Junji Ito mindset where I remember the red sweater story. Well, there you go. I was might like, be that. Huh. Might actually be a direct reference. A new game is spreading among your friends. Dare say, uh, the unused school restroom. Uh, AKA Bob. Oh, Akamanto. Harm is fun, turned deadly. Body of a boy was found last week. School principal has banned the game. It only made it more popular. Akamanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. Is that the name of the game or the person? So I think Akamanto in this case is the name of the game, but Akamanto is also a Japanese like ghost spirit that lives in toilets. I know the toilets. Yeah, about to say, have you ever heard nice. of it? it? It's actually a real, it's actually a really messed up like ghost when you think about it. It lives, it lives in bathrooms, not toilets specifically, but just bathrooms wherever you go to the bathroom. And the idea is that while you're doing your business, i.e., your most vulnerable state. It will grab you by the torso, or, or yeah, it'll grab you by the torso and ask if you want red toilet paper or blue toilet paper. And if you say red toilet paper, he'll stab you in the back a bunch uh, and then coat the the white toilet paper in your blood and give it to you, and you'll die right from. Blood yeah, that loss. doesn't sound good. And uh, otherwise, uh, if you say blue, he strangles you until your face turns blue. And then put Both the of these options suck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there is no good. <laughs> there is no. It's not Moaning Myrtle. That is terrible. Unfortunately, yeah. Moaning right. Myrtle's probably the nice version of that. Uh, gather gossip about the current mystery. So that's actually at the school. So you're telling me I can't escape from this bathroom ghost? Oh. Huh? Hello. Do I is only do I only kid? have one person because uh. Do I only have one person? Because I already have so many allies. God damn it. So, uh, I I'm just telling this to Dad, by the way. I tried to contact Discover about uh, canceling the Humble Bundle transaction. Literally couldn't get through to them on the line, uh, or on the phone. Couldn't get through to them on the uh, app. And I just got a text message confirming that the transaction was completed. So, that's frustrating. Hopefully, Humble Bundle will be able Customer to give me a Customer service! I must say, hopefully Humble Bundle will be able to give me a refund, because that's annoying. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, I like how you're canonically trying to have a cigarette while wearing that mask. Hey, man. Hmm, okay. I could force her to join me. You're always such a kidder! Are you kidding? What are you doing? Join my team! <laughs> I will spend all of my goddamn experience to get. I'm gonna. There Give you go. Me a break. I use my knife. <laughs> Don't <laughs> expect them to stay loyal, though. <laughs> She's bad! <laughs> And this is why you don't force people to join. Listen, I have to relearn all of these goddamn mechanics, okay? I have so... <laughs> Wait, was it, didn't I just gather gossip? I have no clue. Alright, let's go here. Make notes, study. So that's just for. Ask so that's just questions. to trade. So that's just to trade doom for XP. Dude, now I'm pissed because I'm like, well, how do I gather gossip? You just force the one girl that'll give you gossip to join you. There's literally no one. <laughs> oh, access rooftop. Hello. I should probably leave she her did. alone. I don't have a telescope. That's a good point. Who is, who's Are you my, sure you who's my old probably? god? Is my old god the eye? It is. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, I'm pissed. Oh, well. Let's investigate. Maybe just story. talk to the chick at the <laughs> top. <laughs> I, I tried. It said that you couldn't. Oh, my Jesus. Hello, substitute teacher. Hi! My, my, <laughs> my luck check passed. Uh, hand you some old books to carry. Uh, 
<laughs> Monday titles, you find one called Extinction of Mankind. Nice. Subtlety. Oh, God. It's so creepy. Um, Alright. Let's go downtown. If I remember correctly, we're going to have to fight a rioter. Go downtown. Uh, yeah, look, rioter. Hello. Alright, so I have allies. Where are my allies? Overwhelm her with the four or five girls you have. Well, the thing is, is that none, of, the, none of these high girl. school girls will do anything. They're all terrible and useless. Uh, okay. Uh, combat skill. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Where? She's not a ghost, <laughs> so I can't do any of my ghost actions. Where the hell? I could run away. Brace for impact, no. Where the hell is my ally stuff? Do I really just wow. not have they're, any ally they're stuff? They're just useless. They're more than useless. They're sub-useless. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Who would have guessed that they're so goddamn useless? I can't even sacrifice them! Wow. <laughs> no, because that was like a thing that, I, that you could do before. I don't remember how, though. Alright, whatever. I'm annoyed. What's my chance to hit? Uh, 70's not bad. And then, yeah, whatever. Oh, Jesus. She hit me pretty hard. <clears throat> Alright, uh, because that's... Fortunately, you cannot summon Jesus at this time. He will oh, not help you. I wish I could. Uh, I don't even have a camera. Did one of them miss? I'm engulfed in flames! And she burns me! You're out of a Molokov cocktail. I, I take additional combat damage from now on. Yeah, look, you can see I'm bandaged up underneath the mask. Good night, Daddy O. Thank you for stopping by. Yep, good night. Oh good night, good night. I'm so pissed. Okay, uh. I'm just gonna die. Shit. Oh! She hit me so hard that... Show me what you got, loser! <laughs> I'm so pissed. Save that. Launch sequence. She's dead. I only took... 10 oh, she's damage? Dead. I only took 10 damage from that? For the sake of the world, lady, you gotta die. Alright, traveling back to the school. <clears throat> uh, dark forces. Oh, I got a curse? Oh, I'm hunger! <laughs> Look at this artwork. Woof. <laughs> I, I have minus one charisma now. Oh, please, hospital. Uh, I could go to the pharmacy. I don't have any funds, so I should go to the doctor. All right. Okay. So I so I essentially converted. Oh, discard. I essentially converted my burns into. 20 experience through one fun. Well, you did live through that. <clears throat> it was an experience. Uh, okay. Assume the worst. Someone has been branding patients with occult symbols. Branded like cattle! <laughs> I got four doom for that. Great. <laughs> now I'm going back to the school. <laughs> Again, you learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital at the latest murder, thinking of all the records, uh, taking all the records with him. Why would he do that? It's best to keep the school. Dude, I'm so pissed. Let's go back. There's still no one here. Let's go to the rooftop. 
She's still there. Literally just can't. And I'm oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I, 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 I legit think that the person who I forced onto my team, this one, had Was the one you were supposed to talk to, yeah. yeah. Can you not talk to her? I just Maybe did. Let, her, let, her, let her go and then maybe she'll be back to where she was? I'm gonna let them all go. So now my, st <laughs> now my stats aren't being lowered for no fucking reason. Yeah, keep the one lady oh, dude, who hello. can help you. Yesterday, she told me she saw it again. Can you not get to that classroom where there appears to be someone there? Saba. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> obviously, I obviously I cannot, or else I would have done that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Oh. You still belong to your room. Good opportunity to check the school's database, look for anything that might help your investigation. I am not You're not smart. that smart. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh. did lose, I did lose stamina for that, though. Okay. The principal has ordered the school to be closed down for investigation. I think this means I have Hello, to fight another Grant. rioter, by the way. Hello, Sabo. Oh, I don't have to fight another rioter. Are you ready for a spook, Grant? I am. Coolio. Good time. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove furniture from his flat because he wants to sell it. In the envelope, we find a key to his apartment. Strength check success. Thank God I'm so fucking strong. Oh, I can level up. Thank God. Alright, what do I want? Quick thank you. Are you ready for the spookiness, Saba? I'll see how it goes. This one I can't. My threshold for spooky is quite low. Same. I mean, it's not really gonna be that spooky. <laughs> anyway, there's not, even, there's not even gonna be any fucking pictures. Zach bursts through all of our doors at the, at same, the same time. time. <laughs> uh, what the hell are you doing here? Dude, that freaked me out. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, you break. Where's your pasta? You break, <laughs> you break through the window to get into the school. Oh my god, didn't we already do this? Yeah, this is where I got my mask, right? Wait, I have yeah, a spell. You know, Wait, what the hell is this? When your allies these are all die, questions I cannot answer. By one. Oh. That's neat. I should have did that. <laughs> oh man. I got a I got a mask. I got the stalker's mask. Wow. Oh my gosh, you just put that on and you approach the well, what was what's the one that I school. have what's the one I have right now? What is faster spiritual actions, which I'm not doing. So if I ever fight a rioter again, <laughs> I can beat the shit out of them. Uh oh. There is no turning back now. Yeah, but... You step into the last stall and sh and close the door behind you. We right. literally know nothing, right? <laughs> we know nothing because I didn't know how to fucking gossip. You know what? I'm I'm ready to die. Let's just fight this thing. Investigate the cursed toilet. Legend alive. You wait in the stall, trying to be as quiet as possible. So he squeak squeak. And the sound of rubber boots. You see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. The door slowly opens. Okay, and it's this man. Said. Dressed in red coat, clearly too tall for this for the Well, ceiling. you're gonna die. Tell me. No. Would you like red paper or blue paper? See, I'm so cultured. Or action unavailable. Oh my god, he just dealt five damage to me. And then that wasn't even the fight? Are you kidding? You fool. Oh my god. Wait, I can literally only survive two hits. Because uh -oh. he deals two all. So I have, uh -oh. to, I have to kill him in two hits. Kill him in two hits? I can, I'm too slow. Hit him with the quan. Oh. What's, what's my hit chance? My hit chance is 60. Which is not great. Dude, my, a little steak, my steak knife is dealing so much damage, though. But can it do 27? <laughs> no, literally no. <laughs> Fuck. That was a miss, by the way. Alright, well, that's the end of that. <laughs> that's the end of this run. He killed me.
So I can finish this fight, but then I'll die. <laughs> You'll just be, like, so negative. So, Saba, you like my artwork? Oh, oh there yeah, you go. Great. Oh. Yeah, so uh, the game counted that as a loss by uh, reason, as opposed to me being a bloody pulp on the floor. Well, well I guess that's better. Good enough, I guess. <laughs> Do you think we got time for one more run? Uh, okay. I'd rather get prepped, to be honest. Oh, I wanted to see more of it, but okay. I would be more than happy to play more of this at a later time. World of Horror is a fantastic game, and I want to say there's I want to say there's close to 300 random events in the game now. Whoa, whoa, dude! A lot of a lot of them were submitted by uh, fans and stuff too. Like some of them are so good. I was thinking about submitting one based on a horrible dream that I had a long while ago. Um, and, and I think it would fit very well with, like, the the motif of the game. But I had a dream a really long time ago of... Uh, it, it's, like, way on the outskirts of this town. There's this, like, fleshy tube. It's, like, quite small. But there's, like, a fleshy tube that stretches from horizon to horizon. And the first person that discovers it, uh, he just, like, kicks a rock towards it. And the rock gets absorbed into the fleshy tube, but then out of the place where it absorbed, uh, like a gold nugget came out, and boom, it immediately sparks into like a huge gold rush where people are, you know, where our people are just gathering to this fleshy tube and just like throwing as much garbage as they can into it so that way gold comes out. Um, and then the dream does like a legit fast forward in uh, to like later that week where the fleshy tube, which was originally, like, the size of, like, a thing of string, is now the size of, like, a minivan and, like, pulsating <laughs> and, like, moving on its own. And then that was the end of the dream. And I woke up, and I was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely a fleshy weird. tube. It was a fleshy tube. Um, all right. Where... Oh, and then Grant, one of these one of these days, I one hundred percent have to show you Teardown because I think you'd enjoy that game. I showed it to Tear Saba. Down. I saw it. I showed it to Saba. What did you think of it, Saba? It was cool. Oh. I liked the idea of it, and it looked like Minecraft. It looked like Minecraft because most of the game is made out of voxels. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Uh, most of the interactable environments are made out of voxels, I'll say. Oh yeah, and I also helped him win. Uh, you did! You gave me a really good suggestion. Essentially, essentially what the game is, Teardown, is that you uh, run a demolition company, uh, like a one-man demolition company, and you go to these locations, but while you're doing your demolition job, you're also being hired to, like, steal shit. And so the idea is that you have free reign to destroy essentially anything that you want, but the minute that you trigger any alarms by stealing something, you have 60 seconds to get to your escape vehicle or you'll get caught by the police. And so 99% of each level is you like meticulously like laying down boards, punching holes through wall, blowing up uh blowing up like rocks and stuff so that way you can run across things easier. And then you quick save, you go one, two, three, steal your first thing, and you're just fucking like ninja running through the entire level trying to steal as much shit as you can and then get to your escape vehicle to leave. And so anyway, Saba was helping me with one of the levels because I was going, essentially I was going in a uh, clockwise direction and I couldn't do it. Like I was always like 10 or 15 seconds too slow in order to get out of there safely. And Sabo is like, well, what if you just started on the opposite side? Instead of going through all this dead space, why don't you just start from here and go counterclockwise instead? And I was like, you genius. It took, no, 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 it genius. took, it took 30 <laughs> minutes <laughs> for me to properly set that up in reverse because I basically had to like turn a bunch of vehicles around, but it was super neat. <clears throat> and he made it. I think your first attempt on that. I think it yeah. was the first attempt, and I think I, I think I made it with like five seconds to spare out of sixty, which was baffling to me. Was good. Okay. All right. This should 
be good. Uh, if you guys want, you guys can feel can free to up. join ahead of time, just because there's not a whole lot of assets to load, but there are assets, so. <clears throat> that makes sense. Gonna launch. Oh, and then obviously don't. Are, and, then, and then obviously don't touch anything <laughs> yet. Just gonna flip the table. table. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Time. Okay, good. <clears throat> good, good, good. Let me pull up my fucking reference documents. Are you online, <laughs> Zach? Shit. Of course <laughs> you are. <laughs> I just had to get, get online. <laughs> there you go, I'm online. <laughs> You're a fool. I am a fool. I always forget. Alright, uh, Ben. Let me connect to this. Oh, and there we go. I see the Steam overlay. Yay. Wait, what was the password? password? Uh, Lawrence yeah. with a capital L. Oh, I thought it was Warlance. No, I haven't changed it. Warlance? <laughs> it should be Warlance. Yeah. <laughs> what should my color be, Zach? Can I choose something? Uh, you can choose any of the six. You're fine. Uh, just take a take a pair of, there, there should be five sets of 100 sided die. Just take any pair and put it in front of you so that way when I come back I know that it's yours. You can even change the color of them if you want to match what you have. This is too oh much God. power. I don't understand. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what did I just do? Okay, watch. Gonna All right, there you go. shift some stuff around. Now I have access to my handbook. Saba, you are not allowed to read the handbook yet, by the way. That's that's fine. I'm I'm busy doing something. <laughs> Ugh, moving some stuff around. She's in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm currently winning. If I say. Oh, Here you go. I, I cannot can interact even... with digital counter. <laughs> Can you not? No. It says I don't have permission. I'm promoting both. We're not cool enough for that. <laughs> oh no, I, I still have, can't have permission. I have deputized both of you. Yes! Grant, it's a, it, it has to stay on 100. <laughs> it can only go down. Alright. There you go, look. It's going all the way down. There you go, look. I customized both of your die. Coolio. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I have the, the ability to hand do the that. Book. So we're still waiting for <sighs> Lawrence and Dave. Is Adrian joining? No, I asked him, and he was like, I don't really want to spectate. And I was like, okay, I guess that's fine. I don't want to spectate? Yeah, he, he said that he didn't. Being a part of a game? Yeah. I mean, he's not He's not in this. I asked him if he wanted to be a, a character in this, like if he wanted to participate, and he was like, nah. Okay. Nah, well then. Uh, hello. Who's that? Hello. Who's that Lawrence? Hello, Lawrence. Lawrence, oh, join join the tabletop server. Oh, you already started! Oh my goodness. We're getting we're getting we're getting prepped a little bit just because I need to make sure that everything is square. So Instead of being rectangular. Okay, and then so then we're only missing Dave. 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 I'm so happy he got his uh, Garfield shirt. His Garfield. Did you see oh, it on the, Snapchat? The 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 Evangelion one? No, 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 no. He got another Garfield shirt where it's just Garfield T posing, and all it says is "gamer." Oh nice. shit! I just saw it. And skipped over it. It's on his story. I, I love it. <laughs> gamer. <laughs> gamer. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, I, see. I still think his uh, best t-shirt is the one we made. 
<laughs> the I miss oh. my virginity. I miss my virginity. I can't. It's such a good shirt. <laughs> like if like if I was if I was like any sort of <laughs> YouTuber or online personality, I would sell that shirt as part of my brand. <laughs> I miss my virginity and just a hmm, face. <laughs> which, which, once again, I can't believe was drawn by Carrie. Not because Carrie's not an artist, but because that game had four artists in it, and the best <laughs> and the best picture was drawn by Carrie. Okay. I miss my virginity. Would you mind both testing to see whether or not you can roll your dice? You have to select uh, both of them. Roll. Yeah, R. Okay, good. Yep. And then when you're both selected and you hover over them, it should tell you the combined result. Uh, oh, select both of them? Yeah. It doesn't tell me It anything? does not. It should. Okay, so a password. It's your, your name. name. It's my name? Yes. It's you. Yeah. It's been oh, your name yeah. for a long time. <laughs> Why, would it, why is it my no, name? We're chosen. Failed to connect! I must spell my own name. <laughs> it, capital. capital. Uh oh. <laughs> it's officially your name, okay? Capital and all. Yeah, I about to say, it doesn't, it doesn't say... So when you roll your two dice, like right now, it says 12. Uh, no, it doesn't say... It. Hold on, let me... Let me do it again. No. Me For me, it says 97. I mean, I guess we could just, like, look at it. I guess that's true. And use our brains. I'm just worried, because I want to make sure that we get through this day, quote-unquote, um, in two hours. Because <laughs> I, I did originally plan, like, when I originally started making this, like, however many months ago, I did plan for this to be four hours. <laughs> so I basically had to cut everything in half. Let's go. Nice, we got this, guys. I hope I don't die in the first five seconds. You sh oh. Well, even if you do, it should be fine. All I'll right. try to make sure of that. Lawrence, I'm... <laughs> Lawrence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no characters have been introduced yet, so I'm still just calling you all by your name. Someone uh, ping Dave. I need, I need him in here. You all know just, him better than I, so... Just say gamer and he'll find his way here. <laughs> Gamer. He just suddenly appears. Oh man! Whoa, no, don't happening? look at that. <laughs> do we do we get our own uh, personal handbook within the game, or do we have to? No, it's in the game. Tab. You you can so see that cool. they're actually sitting there, right on the. Uh... I'm gonna. I don't even know if you're able to see this. If I I, I don't understand Gamer. how sharing Gamer. from Instagram works, man. Sharing from Instagram. Yeah. Five. Oh, there's Dave. I just hear fluctuations. Like, let me send this to you and see if you can... Like, it doesn't appear. I don't think it used to do this. Hmm. Are you there, Dave? Yeah. I'm gonna have to turn you up. Taba, why are you just... Why are you just sending me Instagram shit? I was seeing if it would work and if you can actually see the thing. Oh, dude, I love I love these. I love taking like the old sprites and then making a three D model from them. Oh, okay. So you did see it. Yeah, I thought it was super interesting. No, but at one, but once again, that did not show up in Discord. I had to follow the link. I know. I don't. That part I don't understand why it does do or why it does that. <laughs> who, who did that? Who does was, what? That I was I was trying to bounce uh, the. Yeah, I was trying to bounce the die, and Stop. I accidentally oh. struck one. You fools. <laughs> you guys can't see anything that's in my hand, right? Um, I see uh, a personal handbook. It just looks like personal handbook and some... No, yeah, we can. <laughs> All right, Personal fine. handbook. Okay, I gotta, I gotta set right. some... Oh my god, there's so many things on my screen. I have, exactly. to, I have to keep the game full screen, so that way I can actually interact with stuff. Okay. Is Facility Z in Australia? <laughs> you guys fucking focus! <laughs> <laughs> this is serious! <laughs> can, I, can I ask something? I don't something? even know what we're supposed to be doing! <laughs> can I ask something? Yes. Yes. What's, what's my ping right now? Uh, uh, your uh, ping 66. is 91. 80. Good enough. Uh, <laughs> my is, is, is like 180 something. <laughs> 
Gamer. He just hit that, 150 yes, for me. Dave. Since Gamer. we're talking about pings, what's my pass, ping? Let me know. Password is 120. His name with the capital. Wow. Like it's just Lawrence. Lawrence. Is, yeah. You, I have a, <laughs> you have a really good connection. It's just 50, and it does not go higher than that. Who? Sabas. Oh, cool. Boston Thunder. Boston, <laughs> Boston Thunder. Boston Thunder. So I told Zach this, but I've also kind of just realized I just play the same D and D character, with different <laughs> flavor text every single time. The first one is like, "Oh, he grapple and angry, but he's big lizard." And then shut, Zach shut like, "He grapple up, and angry." Dave, we're not doing character intros lizard. yet. <laughs> give, give, give me a fucking minute. <laughs> All right, Dave. Uh, what color do you want to be? There is yellow and blue left. I'll be blue. <laughs> oh, so damn. it's all of you. So it's like the three of you versus Lawrence. <laughs> take him out. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I'll take you all on, I swear. Oh. Right. So. <laughs> I forgot your profile picture, Dave. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <what> it <laughs> fried. Existence or existence is a curse or whatever. Existence is a oh, prison. is a prison. Yeah, birth is a curse and existence is a prison. Yeah. All right, here you go, Dave. These are your dice. You have your own set of D one hundred. Don't lose them. Wait, can you even read that? Is that too dark? That's pretty dark. Here, I'll make That's it too dark. There you go. Oh, there you go. So That's now everybody like, has their now everybody has their own D one hundred, including me. Why can't I move the candle? Because I locked them. Don't move candle, please. Oh. We're focus. <laughs> Set it on fire. <laughs> Set table on fire. This is a, I like this atmosphere, this you're, environment. You're what? welcome. Excuse you. What? 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 <laughs> you guys, you haven't even started yet. You're already causing trouble. All right. <laughs> Leave my dice alone! Stop taking them! <laughs> stop bullying Saba. <laughs> Everybody stop. I you know what, Saba? Saba, drop them. I attack position. Alright, don't worry, Saba. I locked them. Now no one can touch them. <laughs> <laughs> you can never roll. <laughs> You'll always have 89. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, for, never for mind. Saba, <laughs> for Saba's purposes. All right. Oh, that's how you rotate it. All right. Here we go. Everybody, everybody, stop! I'm gonna explain how this is gonna work now. I so, it. what the fuck is this? <laughs> stop bringing the shit I in. I summoned him in attack, attack <laughs> position. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he has two thousand attack points. We're suddenly playing dungeon right. dice monsters. So, uh, here's how this is gonna work. Uh, in a moment, we're all gonna get into character. We'll do our character intros, as will I. Um. The the objective here is that uh, well well I'll, I'll explain the J objective in character but essentially uh, expect to die quite a lot um, as long as all of you like all four of you don't die within the same encounter you still have the chance of successfully completing the encounter if you do all fail the encounter it doesn't matter you move on to the next room anyways. So cut to the first room where we just immediately <laughs> all die. <laughs> I'm look, uh, I roll to grapple. <laughs> you cannot roll to grapple. Not yet, I roll to grapple with the concept of death. <laughs> the concept of death. You have to enter his room first. Now stop. So I can probably do it. Okay. Baby so in a moment, I'm going to give low. everybody uh, their ID card and their personal handbook. So here you go. Here you go. Okay. Everybody gets a brief glimpse as to the, at the characters. Um, for the two of you who have special characters, uh, Gamer. keep We're special. the keep the nature of your characters uh, as hidden as possible given the like parameters of your contract and sure. then we'll be moving forward from there do we know right. who has the special roles i think the two of you could probably figure it out Ooh. Right. Ooh. so 
Uh, all right, is everybody is everybody ready to begin? I don't even know how to open this. Uh, let me. So okay, so yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't actually explain this. So if you right click on the handbook, there's an option that says State, and it will have one through ten. Those uh -huh. are the pages, okay. and you can flip it over. So if you, Wait, so if how, you turn how? F. So, F? so so like Saba, here you go. I'll set you to like page four, and then hit F to flip it, and there you go. Coolio. How do we turn the page? Uh, right click on it. There's an option that do says I, State. Do I have? Oh. You guys can hold on to Alt, and it'll bring it up. Yes. And oh, you that's hold, very nice. Oh, hold, right. If you hold Alt, it'll full screen it. <laughs> Once again, I'll remind you guys, I had to make all these fucking assets. So <laughs> It's very impressive. <laughs> all right. Thank so, you, Zach. <clears throat> Uh, the only other things that I'm going to the only other things I'm going to elucidate before we begin because this is like gameplay type stuff. Um, essentially, with each encounter, you guys are going to make a, a decision, at least one decision a piece, and then the room is going to respond to the choices that you made um, based on how uh, pertinent, <laughs> based on how effective your decision is. I will tell you how many points you are going to lose on your counter. Um, and then if I tell you to, you're going to roll your D100, and if you roll higher than your number on your counter, that means your character died. Okay? Whoa, Gamer. dude. So, oh, uh, so it's like a cool, probability of death, right? So you, you start off with a low <laughs> so probability of death, the, and the, the lower high, you the, go? The highest that a D100 can roll is technically 99, because it includes oh, okay. zero. <laughs> so at 100, you have no chance of dying. But I'm here to tell you that it will quickly go down. It will very quickly go down. Just make sure <laughs> you guys are staying as focused as you can. Um, you will see here I have tokens for success and failure. That is just for my purposes to keep track of whether or not you guys are succeeding or failing at particular rooms. Um, and then you will see this blue marble here. Uh, this is just to kind of help you guys figure out how you're going to start, which I'll explain in a moment. Uh, the blue marble does not necessarily mean something good or bad. It just means that that is a room of significance, and it is your guys' prerogative as to whether or not you want to encounter that room early or save it for later. That is your prerogative. <clears throat> All right. Uh, now is everybody ready to begin? Sure. Okay. Sure. Spectacular. So, <clears throat> hello, everybody. Uh, for the purposes of the next uh, shift, you may address me as the foreman. Uh, the four of you have been brought here uh, by the facility Z director in order to uh, help maintain facil uh, help maintain the facilities within. Um, we will now take some time to introduce ourselves. So we will start with the member on my left, which would be red. Oh, oh, uh, the, uh, my ID is flying, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the introduction, Captain, I am... Excuse you? What's my name? Sorry, King. No. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, keep going. Wait, if you're the uh, foreman, what happened to the other three? <laughs> the three men, the two men, and the one men. Shut the fuck up! I will mute the shit out of you. <laughs> right, hello, everyone. I, my name is Doctor Jack Bright. You can see that beautiful, beautiful profile picture of me. I'm a senior researcher at SCP facilities. I am tall. All right. Thank you very much. Moving very on to the next individual. <laughs> <laughs> and I am wonderful. Thank you very much. Ooh. Well, hi guys. My, my name, you know, I've I've gone by many names. Uh, you can you can call me whatever you want. You know, if anybody wants to come up with a nickname, you know, that's cool. Whatever, please. If by all means, if you want to. But uh, you know, I've, I'm I've been recently. Tommy. Okay, yeah, that's what I've been that's recently going with. That's what I really so, like. Uh, somebody yeah. tells something leads me to call you Tommy. Okay, well that that's cool. All right, thank I you mean, but if you want to, if you want to think individual. of something else, <laughs> my name is Thaddeus <laughs> Rhodes. <laughs> I'm a cryptozoologist trained to wrestle any number of SCPs. Very succinct. Thank you. 
now for our final individual. You're a bird? <laughs> Helper. Uh, our fourth individual has uh, come to the facility. Uh, very highly recommended. Uh, they do not speak very much. Thank you. Weird. All right. So, so sorry. The, for the purposes of our events, which, by the way, everybody's in on air, correct? The channel? No. I guess I got to all tap to that. Streaming. So, now we are. <laughs> okay. So each room, due to the time dilation in Facility Z, your eight-hour shift is going to be split into 16 30-minute sections. Each room, no matter how long you think it's going to take, is going to take 30 minutes. You have okay. five tasks, three of which must be completed, like successfully, or all five of them need to be finished, either successfully or not. Um, you have to finish your eight-hour shift, and you have to do one of those two things. So uh, I will, for the sake of posterity, read the five missions for today's shift. Uh, number one, have afternoon tea with Ferdinand. Number two, retrieve the field journal from Daleport. Number three, file the Wilson family taxes. Number four, smash the chicken eggs. Number five, order something from the vending machine. We will begin with uh, the descent into the facility. As a group, <coughs> it, you will have the opportunity to decide this marker represents your position in the facility. In order to begin, you must all agree on a position to start on at the outskirts of the facility, and then we will move from there. Feel free to discuss if you would like. Uh, and then for Bran, I do have special information. Uh, we okay. had previously discussed uh, communication between uh, you and me. Uh, you will only be allowed to do that once per hour. So essentially, once every two encounters, you will be able to contact the director privately. Understood? All right. Thank you. All right. Please choose your location that you would like to begin at. All right, so... I'm giving you a 30-second timer. Guys? Oh, God. I think we should choose... Mm. A really bad one. I will remind you that the blue mm. marble could be good or bad. <laughs> it just means that it's significant. Perfect. Blue well, marble. It could be interesting. It could be fun. Blue marble. Blue marble. I'm in. Blue marble. Blue marble. Blue marble. Blue marble. All right. All right. Blue marble. Seems like everybody is in agreement. So, your entrance point from the elevator shall be E1. All right. As you exit the elevator, you emerge into what appears to be a college campus, but it's several hundred years old, at least uh, according to the overgrowth and just the general decay of the location. Um, there doesn't appear to be any damage explicitly, just everything has been untouched for an extremely long time. You can see uh, on the other side of the campus to where you have uh, wherever you have entered that there is a door which you believe will lead to the next room. So now because there is no immediate threat you guys will have 30 seconds to decide uh, what you want to do. All right. So we're officially inside? You, officially are, inside the college. you are officially inside the facility, and you have just entered your first room. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you have 30 seconds to decide what your first action is going to be. 
So this is an abandoned uh, college that we're at, yeah? Uh, yeah, I have already good. given you as much information okay. as oh, I okay. can. Okay. <laughs> oh. The good. timer has begun. So I I would like to tag the place with my name. Just uh, just just in graffiti, tag, right? All over the place. Yes. Mm. Exactly. I'm gonna. Well, the sounds it down. sounds like no one objects. On all fours and try to sniff the ground to try and track something. Okay, that's two actions. Bran, what will you do? Look. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good timer. All right. So, uh, due to just physical aptitude, we will have Boston Thunder <laughs> go first. Uh, please... Uh, you are getting on all fours and sniffing the ground, correct? Yeah. <laughs> I will have you lose two points for that, so just subtract your counter twice. Chaos. All right, roll. No, 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 you uh, highlight both of them and then just hit R. Uh... Oh. You got a two. <laughs> okay. Oh. That, in the backwards way that my system works, that's a very huge success, actually. So, all right. Uh, <laughs> as far as you can tell, there has been literally no wildlife in this area in at least several decades. All right. Dr. Bright, you said that you are going to be fucking tagging the location. Hell yes. Where the fuck are you getting the spray paint from? From my lab coat that I always carry. <laughs> All right, you may begin. What are you gonna tag? I will be tagging locker rooms, which is my name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, because a you don't know where the locker rooms are, and b you're literally gonna be tagging an unknown location with your name. I'm going to have you lose <laughs> ten points. <laughs> oh no. Who would have thunk? Alright, roll. Oh, uh, was it, did that count or should I roll again? Yeah, just highlight and hit R. 64. That's a pass. Alright. You. Uh, you go to the locker rooms, which the campus, to be more specific, uh, you entered from the south side. The door that you guys saw uh, upon entering is on the north and the locker rooms quote unquote were to the right so you hung to the right and spray painted Dr. Bright rules in <laughs> vibrant spray paint across the lockers Hell yeah. alright who would like to go next I'll go alright spectacular what would you like to do I stumble around looking for my friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm lonely. I am going. To, I am going it's to. It's been say, a while since I saw them. I'm going to say that that's a uh, minus one. All right. All right. Roll. <laughs> what is it? Nineteen. All right. Wait, sixteen. That's that's a very good that's a very good roll. So as you stumble around uh, looking for an individual uh, who you are uh, uh, amicable with, you actually see... Uh... <laughs> Fuck, what's your character's name again? <laughs> Isn't it like Rhodes or something? Thaddeus Rhodes? Yes, Thaddeus Rhodes. Th Thaddeus Rhodes. You see Thaddeus on all fours sniffing the ground like an animal. <laughs> You have a brief moment to uh, communicate, if you'd like. That it's been too long. How are you, friend? Unfortunately, uh, Tommy. As, it's been unfortunately, forever. as he begins to speak, Tommy, in his very, you know, affable way, he's like, you know, he says that, and then he just, in the blink of an eye, he's gone. <laughs> um, because of where Thaddeus was, because. Because of where Thaddeus was investigating, uh, they are on the right-hand side. 
uh, near where the Dr. Bright tagged the lockers. All right, the last action goes to Bran. Bran, what will you do? Look at the door. It's telling me more. All right. So uh, upon observing the door, excuse me, uh, it is simply just like an elevator door that you would see at any hotel. This is the standard door, quote-unquote, that you will be seeing uh, quite often throughout Facility Z. All you need to do in order to open the door is to push the button located on the side. Uh, the door does appear to be innocuously situated on the side of uh, the north building, is all. Um, for the purposes of this, I will say that that was a safe action, and you may take an actual action if you'd like. Walk closer to the door. Yes. All right. You begin to walk through the center <laughs> of the of the of the campus, and uh, as you do, you start to get a headache as you start to get towards the towards the center. Um. Do you continue, or stop. do you stop for someone else? Stop. Okay. Do you do anything else, or do you just stop? Stop. All right. Understood. And just as you stop, Tommy appears right next to you. <laughs> okay. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Hello. All right. Spectacular. I am super <laughs> glad that essentially nothing happened that turn. That could have went way worse for no particular reason. Uh, all right. And you guys uh, pass the innocuous check that I just did. So guess what? You get to go again. <sighs> oh, boy. So who wants to act first? Oh, it, there's no set turn? Uh, unless, okay. unless it's unless it's a dangerous situation in which I'll explain how that works. You guys get to you just have to do all four actions before I do my action. Okay. Is Wait, it... I'm with I'm with Bran, right? <laughs> you are you are standing right next to Bran, uh, just outside the central campus location. All right. The door to exit this room is directly north of you. Do you think we should explore more, Bran? Or, like, what? I mean, I have also my Game Boy Color in my back pocket if you want to try and beat, uh, you know, Super Mario Land. <laughs> Tetris. <laughs> Tetris? Headache. I got Tetris. Headache. Hmm. Yeah, if we, it, it might be too dark to play, you know, that it doesn't have the backlit yet, so... Uh, it's extremely bright mm. outside, it's midday. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I can illustrate that properly. All right. Mm. Thaddeus, do you, you have anything you want to do? More? Mr. Dr. Bright? Uh, Anyone um, have anything that they're interested I, in? I have an idea. Uh, I don't know if they'll take two moves or if it's just, just one move. Tell me what you want to do and we'll, and we'll talk. All right. So first, so I'm just done spray painting my name. Uh, <laughs> I would like to try to find where the main office would be. Like the main the uh, faculty building? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, I will count that as just a regular perception check if you're willing to lose three points. <laughs> I don't know what the points mean, but let's sure. Okay, so lose three points. All right. Uh, by doing literally the most basic investigation, you uh, peer across the court and find that the West Building is the uh, is the faculty building. Perfect. Directly across the courtyard from where you are. Uh, because that was your observation, I will allow you to continue moving if you'd like. I would like to go there and enter the building. Okay. <laughs> and. Wait, no, should, I, should, I, should I keep going there or? Oh shit! I hit F. Uh, what is that? Okay, that's good. So, uh, 
as you approach the middle courtyard, kind of just ambling across in like your in your typical Doctor Bright swagger, uh, Bran is constantly waving at you in a very frantic motion, uh, but is unable to properly convey the dire nature of the situation that you're about to enter. And the moment oh. that you uh, cross the threshold into the center courtyard, uh, your mind suddenly goes blank uh -oh. <laughs> um, your mind suddenly goes blank uh, images of the cosmos and the infinite expanse of the universe around you becomes apparent and uh, as you regain your consciousness you exit the other side of the courtyard as if you were on autopilot and you are aware that Tom is still a virgin <gasps> <gasps> Tom, Tommy guy, how you, dare you feel so, be a virgin? So you, <laughs> so, <that> Tommy. <laughs> so you, so you are on the west side of the courtyard, and you just gained this new forbidden knowledge. <laughs> you may continue into the facility building if you'd like. I would like to. All right, you enter the facility building. Is there anything you're looking for in particular? I am looking for the PA system. <laughs> Luckily, literally <laughs> on the counter right in front of you is the typical like 1990s PA with just the button that you hit to activate it. I'm assuming you're going to try it out. Yes. All right, that's going to cost you a point. All right, you go over to the mic, you hit the button once, it makes the noise. Turns out it still works after however many hundreds of years that this place Perfect. has been <laughs> inactive. And uh, I'm assuming you're going to say something over this PA system. Uh, this is this is midnight right now, yeah. <laughs> no, like this is not. Dark. No, this is not. Oh, this is, is midday. Midday. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like lunch. <laughs> oh, eh, it'll work. So I pull out my phone and just start playing Thriller by Michael Jackson <laughs> over the PA. <laughs> over the PA system. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna have you roll. And bam. Okay. Uh, the song is very catchy. <laughs> and and, and, Hell yeah, and everybody starts doing a little jig. But that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your time. Good turn. All right. Who wants to go next? <laughs> um, I'll go. Where are you going to go? I would like you, to dance you are, to you are on the You are at the East Building where uh, Dr. Bright just was. Um, I'll walk to the West Building then. Uh, across the courtyard? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Once again... Smart. God damn it. Once That's again, smart. Bran is doing everything in his power <laughs> to try to get you to stop, but the second you pass over the threshold, your mind goes blank, you become aware of the cosmos around you, you autopilot your way across, and the moment that you exit uh, the moment that you exit the other side, uh you have become aware that ants don't like salsa. <gasps> this, forbid so this, this, for this forbidden knowledge is now with you forever. <laughs> Can I find <laughs> some ants and some salsa? <laughs> Unfortunately, like I told you before, there is literally no wildlife in this area. Can I find some salsa? <laughs> I don't... That was your. Are you gonna do anything else? Did you just go to the? Did you just I'll go to look the... for a library? <laughs> All right. Turns out it's actually also inside the facility, uh, the faculty building. So you, uh, so you enter that. You enter the location. It's like, uh, because Doctor Bright went straight for the for the like admissions desk, which had the PA system. Uh, you hang left into the library. What are you looking for in the library? Um, a school history on the history of the school. All right. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, this plus your previous action are going to cost you three points. So minus three. Uh, I'm trying to move it. There you go. 
Uh, you do. You find a book very handily titled uh, History of uh, Nowhere University. Turns out that this used to be a extremely large uh, uh, state university in Nowhere, USA. And uh, that's literally it. Just the they just say that it closed down and that's it. No, no other information is available, unfortunately. Did uh, Saab and I witness this, I'm by sorry, the way? Ahead. Like them, did Bran and I witness this by... Uh... Bran absolutely did. If you want to roll to see whether or not you were paying attention, <laughs> that's your prerogative. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. 93. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You... <laughs> you were paying on your Game Boy. So while Bran was frantically trying to stop their two companions from entering this location that is clearly giving uh, them a headache, you were playing fucking Shantae <laughs> for the original <laughs> Game Boy Color. Perfect. <laughs> Which Shantae? Bran, I think we should go to that building over there. It looks really dope, and everyone else, like, I think they might be there. Let's go inside that building. You're saying the one to the west? <laughs> the the one where uh yeah yeah the one where the one where Thaddeus and Doctor Bright just entered yeah okay yeah. uh Bran what is your response to this around what is your response to that <laughs> to, uh, Tom yeah no we'll look around for them but let's 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 like, go in and see <laughs> not through would be the best please just give it a rest. Ooh, you know what? I approve. Ooh. All right. Tom, how do you respond to this? But I'm kind of curious, no. you know, it might it might be kind of cool, no. might be pretty dope, might might no. be, might be, you never know. No. It's kind of it kinda should cool, be noted. You neat. guys get two actions. You can do different <laughs> things if you want. <laughs> Listen, you go that way, I'll go this way into the cool building. <laughs> <laughs> And I sprint over there. <laughs> I hope uh, I hope uh, this is going exactly as you planned, Bran. So I'm going for the sake of expedition, uh, Bran. Expedition. <laughs> yeah, to expedite this. Ah. Um. Bran agrees to go to the West Building, the the faculty building, uh, but makes very careful to go around the courtyard okay uh l literally the second who would have guessed that tom <laughs> enters the courtyard your mind goes blank you become aware of the cosmos around you uh you autopilot to the was, other side and you was this one action this is what this is one action <laughs> As, can, as soon as that happens, can I like run in and out really fast? <laughs> like... Well, <laughs> let me let me finish. Okay. You are crossing diagonally from the bottom, from the south portion of the courtyard to the west portion of the courtyard. Okay. And the the thing happens, so you do the thing, and upon exiting, you become aware that uh, this location is associated with a file prior to SCP-100 and is called the Space of Knowledge. Oh, can we say it if we know what SCP it is? Because I, I figured it out like a oh, while. Absolutely, yeah. You're allowed to share <laughs> oh. it. Oh, okay. Well. It's SCP-28. <laughs> On page 13. Found. Uh, so that's your action, by the way. Can I run back in and out really fast? Like, hop in the doorway, hop out, hop in, hop out, hop in, hop out. You, <laughs> on one <laughs> on one condition. Yeah. You have already lost. I forgot to mention this. You have already lost four points for entering. Okay. If you would like to do this again, it's just going to cost you, like one more point than each other time that you've done it. So your this next one will cost five then. It'll cost you five and then six and then seven and so on and so forth. 
I'll lose 20 points. <laughs> oh. For three times. <laughs> oh, wait, no, 18 points. Excuse me. Okay. Then do that. Just turn on, just turn on the PA brain. system and be like, it's for knowledge. For knowledge. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, you, you literally find the corner of the courtyard where you're able to just walk autopilot and then, like, walk back. And you do that three times really quickly. The first time you do it, you become aware that... Uh, goldfish actually have quite long memories, but just don't have the mental faculty to express it. The second time, <laughs> you become aware goldfish. that Nintendo actually uh, brokered a deal with the devil in order to get the Game Boy Color to be as successful as it was. <gasps> and then the it. third time you go through uh, an enigmatic voice that you've never heard of before or ever will hear again says, please just fucking leave. <laughs> and that's it that's your action okay. Bran you. because you agreed with the other with the thing that Tom did and you were and you went around the courtyard to the west you get to do something in the facility in the faculty building what would you like to do mm, I'll repeat knowledge. by the way there's a door <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just right there at the north building. It's not locked. Don't by the door. There really isn't anything more. Okay, so you're going around again to the north building? Yeah. Okay. You do that. And you're waiting by the door? Yeah. Okay. Give me one moment. roll uh all right cool so quick recap <laughs> tom currently has a fucking massive headache and is in the top left hand corner of the courtyard like the like the northwest corner of the courtyard uh thaddeus and dr bright are both in the in the faculty building. One of them is in the library to uh, one of them's in the library to the south. The other one's just fucking with the PA system. <laughs> and Bran <laughs> is impatiently tapping their foot at the north building next to the elevator. <laughs> what will you do? Uh, oh, first. So do first. Okay, Bran wants to move first. What will you do, Bran? Cafeteria. <laughs> Guys, I have two hours to get this done. Please work with me. Cafeteria. Are you checking I'd to like see to go if to there's the a cafeteria, cafeteria for chocolate milk too? <laughs> the place is two hundred years old. There is I no food milk. here. This is oh. the foreman oh. talking, by milk. the way. Exactly. The foreman is so upset. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> It's a 200 fucking year old cafeteria, and you guys want to check for fucking food. <laughs> there has been no signs of life. Do they? Uh, I tried they my best. It? I'll put it to a rest. Okay, Brad, oh, sorry, what please. will you do? Stay. I'll, I'll repeat, you can just open the door. Elevator? Yes. Button? Yes. Leave. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bran hits the button, goes into the elevator, and the elevator doors do not close behind them as the uh, light on the inside of the door just blinks uh, with the signal uh, next to like the label saying waiting for additional personnel. Brand, is there anything you would like to shout very loudly so that way everybody can hear before you end your turn? Uh. Brand, exiting. shout. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, what did she shout? Okay. Uh, exiting. Oh. I go, ooh, those first three times weren't good. Maybe the fourth will be better. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
Tom, would you like to uh, dictate how you feel as you enter the courtyard for the fourth time? Well, the head hurty a bit, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the fourth occasion, entering the courtyard, literally the moment that Tom crosses the threshold, as opposed to getting a headache and doing the whole automatic walking thing, he fucking vanishes just like he did earlier with Thaddeus. Uh oh. Smart. <laughs> uh, so uh, smart. Thad yeah. Thaddeus and Dr. Bright, what will you do? He'll come I back. Right? Get... <laughs> Cafeteria, look for chocolate milk. <laughs> Maybe it'll bring Tom back. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you were just at the location where the cafeteria is. That is on the east side where the lockers were. You mean my walk back? Are you going to really fucking walk back across this clearly bad courtyard? No. Are you gonna go around? I'll just head to the elevator. I'll go to the elevator. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Wait a second, Thaddeus. Last one to yeah. was a rotten egg, and then I just sprint across the courtyard. Thaddeus easily beats. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, I thought you were going to challenge him to a race, and he realized you were going to run across the fucking courtyard. All right, you, you enter the courtyard, your mind goes blank, you become aware of the cosmos around you, you autopilot to the other side, and upon exiting, you regain consciousness, and you are suddenly aware of... The fact that 20% of the inside of an iPhone is actually just small Chinese children's tears. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> you have Ooh. crossed to the north. Uh, both of you are outside of the elevator. I'm assuming you both enter. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you both enter the elevator. The elevator, the light turns off. But the uh, the the display, which originally said like the label that originally said like waiting for additional personnel, now says dot 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 question mark, and then does like the shrug emoji, <laughs> and then the cool. doors close. <laughs> Interesting. All right, you have, despite everything, successfully passed that room. You now have the opportunity to go to an adjacent room. Where would you like to go? You can go to D1 or E2. Hmm. Where do you guys want to go? D1. I will say the opposite, E2. Okay. <laughs> now Saba has the tie break. Oh, I'm sorry, not Saba. Uh, Bran. Uh... <laughs> Down. Okay, that's two votes for down. So I guess you're gonna go that way. There you go. All right. Uh, the elevator arrives in a very clinical, sterile environment. <clears throat> there are uh, desks and chairs lining a relatively long hallway. There is long fluorescent tubes up the entire hallway. At the end of the hallway is a, you know, elevator door, just like you guys experienced previously. But the strange thing is that all of the signs, of which there are tons along the sides of this hallway, they're all pictures. It's all, it's all images of people, like, drowning or hands doing weird like gestures and stuff like that some of them you recognize like some of them look like stop signs other ones look like people talking um and you can just barely make it out because of the angle but there does about halfway along on either side there appears to be large glass windows so there you go okay. what will you do I want to look through the windows. 
So you're going to enter and then immediately look in through the windows? Yes. Okay. Uh, does anyone else have anything that they want to do? It should be noted that you can take action simultaneously. Oh, I oh, forgot the um, timer. Sorry. Oh. 30 I seconds. Decide what you guys want to do. I will join Thaddeus in looking through the windows. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. What will you do, Bren? Straight. Across? Partially. Okay. And uh, welcome back, Tom. Oh, guys, you won't believe it. I, w I was convicted and accused of murder, and I there were, they only had three days to prove me that I was innocent. It was insane. Anyways, Unfortunately, what's time going is on? Up. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, time is up, and you did not choose an action, so you will not be taking an action this turn. So both Thaddeus and Dr. Bright fucking rush <laughs> with, like, giddy <laughs> excitement to the middle of the hallway, and... Uh, the on the uh, there's a there's like a left window and a right window. The left window has nothing in it and appears to be dark, like there's no lights turned on. And then the right window has lights turned on, and there is a sign <clears throat> uh, with uh, a person pushing a button. And you look down and you notice that there is a button in front of you, like at the base of the window. Bran, very contradictingly. <laughs> <laughs> just slowly makes their way across the hallway <laughs> to keep taking note of all the signs that they see along no. the way. Ground. Grounds? I'm sorry? Ugh. You said straight. You said straight and partial. Straight down. Straight down? Look. Look. Oh, you're looking at the floor? Yeah. Uh, it just appears to be, like I said, everything is very clean and clinical. It's just like a tiled floor. That's it. Uh huh. <laughs> Anything else you would like to observe? No. Okay. <laughs> so are you gonna stay where hmm. you are then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, all right, because Tom uh, had the unfortunate case of, of having to explain the parallel dimension, they did not get to choose their action. So give me a quick second. Understood. Uh, all right. Once again, I'm going to start the timer. You guys decide what you want to do. All right, cool. Walk down the hallway. <laughs> You I threatened to arm wrestle Dr. Bright over who gets to push the button first. <laughs> uh, agreed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Bren? Watch. You're just going to observe <laughs> from the safety of the elevator. All right, seems fair. All right, uh, so Tom, just because you were the first one to speak, I'm going to let you act first. So you said, uh, so I'm sorry, would you mind repeating what you said you were going to do? I said, uh, John fully walk down the high, uh, hallway. Okay. Uh, you walk down the hallway, you make it to about the middle section when Thaddeus and Dr. Bright just explode with manly energy and they take <laughs> one of the desks and they start arm wrestling each other. Uh, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have both of you roll. Oh, I better win this. Uh, well, it's 98 versus 37. Uh, unfortunately for you, Dr. Bright, due to the backwards way that this works, um, 37 is better than 98. So, so, Lucha Summer Camp is paying off. So, Th so Thaddeus <laughs> wins. Uh, Thaddeus pushes the button, and when he pushes the button, uh, he suddenly becomes aware of a name right suddenly becomes aware of a name it is just immediately transmitted to his brain and you are explicitly told to not say the name unless in the presence of a certified senior level researcher 
you both still have your action. What would you like to do? Uh, I would... I would put... What's the name again? Put Thaddeus in an arm lock and tell me, I'm a senior researcher. Tell me everything. I mean, you don't know this, but yes, that's fine. Uh, what do you? Oh, how do you respond what? to this, Thaddeus? Immediately before he does that, I want to say, "Who the fuck is name?" <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking believe it. All right. Um. So, uh, by the way, you get to make up the name. <laughs> Reginald. Clipper. <laughs> well, you have to say it. You have to say the, the dialogue. You have to say the dialogue. Who the fuck is Reginald? At the exact moment that you say the name, uh, luckily, an automatic suppression system affects everybody else in the hallway, so your ears... <laughs> it's like the tinnitus ringing, where uh, Bran, <laughs> Bran, Tom, and Dr. Bright, all of their ears are suddenly ringing, and they couldn't possibly hear what you just said. <laughs> and as soon as you say it, the dark room that's behind you, uh, this fucking terrifying looking mummy dude just kind of prances out from the darkness, begins to entwine uh, their rags around you. They make a low like hum and then pull you into the darkness and you are dead. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, everybody else witnesses this, by the way. <laughs> so, well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> so, so by the way, uh, I, I forgot to mention this. Tom, you'll recall that I said that you made it halfway up the hallway when they did the arm wrestle and then this happened. Uh, yeah. You were like mere centimeters away from this mummy dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wait, is he still there? He, or did he, he just he like retreat, retreat he retreated into the darkness? Into the darkness. Uh. Uh. Um, however, uh, <laughs> it should be noted that the light that was above the door, no one actually looked at the elevator door that's on the other side of the hallway. Uh, the light was red. It is now green. <laughs> green means good, right, guys? Green means good. <laughs> so technically. <laughs> The only person who still has an action, because I'm going to say that Tom fucking stopped dead in his tracks. The only person <laughs> that still has an action this turn is Bran. Elevator? Are you going to fucking sprint across <laughs> to hit the elevator button? Yes. Or... Slow. You're gonna, sl you're gonna slowly go? Medium. <laughs> Medium? Alright, a brisk, a brisk pace, we'll say. Um, I say that you succeed, you you briskly go <clears throat> all the way across to the uh, to the elevator, hit the button, the door is open, and you go inside and it says waiting for personnel. Uh, give me a second. Oh shit. Nope. There you go. Uh so you're you're uh, so Brand's already in the elevator. Uh, Thaddeus <laughs> has been swallowed by the darkness. <laughs> um, and uh, Dr. Bright and Tom, you guys are the only ones left uh, around. What would you like to do? Well, so, dang, I guess we'll leave. Yeah, I guess we'll leave. I, I vote to go arm in arm with Tom. Yes, uh, I wholly agree. Leave, and okay. then we skip to the elevator. Before you yes. do that, so you guys have both got each other in the arm, right? You're, you're locked. Suddenly, a thought crosses through Dr. Bright's mind of, but what if I press the button, though? Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> you can either pull into your basic urges and only lose one point, or you could try to fight it and lose five. While still arm in arm with Tommy, <laughs> I skip towards the button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so lose one I point. I see we're taking the scenic route. You, you lose yes, one indeed. point, Lauren. Oh, sorry, uh, Dr. Bright, you lose one point. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, you press the button, and similarly to what happened to Thaddeus, uh, you and Tom are suddenly made aware of the uh, of a name with explicit instructions not to say the name unless in the express uh, presence of a senior researcher. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Okay, that makes sense. Task? Wait, what? I didn't hear. <laughs> Task. That's what I asked. Hmm. Hmm. Elevator time? <laughs> Elevator time. Okay, so you both agree uh, you both agree to just leave. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're still you, skipping. Both you both successfully skip arm in arm uh, to the elevator and once again you enter the thing. The thing no longer says waiting for personnel and it just does like a frowny face <laughs> and then the door <laughs> closes and so oh. you leave. Uh, congratulations, you have successfully completed uh, a second room. That is your first hour done. Gamer. <laughs> nice. Um, we are going to have to start... We're going to have to start going through these a lot quicker, to be honest. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Um, so, once again, the three of you that are left, uh, where would you like to go? Your options are D2 and E3. E3. <laughs> Uh, mummy room. I'm what? sorry. What? SCP was in the mummy room. I ca I can't mm -hmm. hear you. You're breaking up. Oh, what SCP number was in the mummy room? Shh, we'll get there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me where you want to go. If I had, if I had to die. I'm glad a mummy took me out. <laughs> that is E3. true. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually very funny. E3. Tom votes for E3. It's my favorite <laughs> convention. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Are news. you guys okay with E3? Hell yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Sure. <laughs> Brand's like, whatever, dude. Um, so, unlike last time, the door does not open immediately. In fact, you hear a noise behind the three of you and a panel opens up, <clears throat> and uh, it is a message. By the way, I'm the foreman. It's a message directly from the director, uh, saying, uh, "Agent or Operative Thaddeus appears to be missing. Allow me to help you with that." Then the question cop pops up on screen: What was the SCP number of the last creature you encountered? Sorry, sorry. Not of the last of what were the SCP numbers of the two that you've encountered. You can do either or. Oh, was SCP-28 SCP was the first one. Okay, so you enter 28 okay. into the thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brand, do you agree with this? Wait. Zero? 28? On page 13. That was the first one we did. 13? 10. 13, ah. 13 would be... Because uh, remember, there's two There's two sides to each. So, yeah. one, so, one, so page 1 is just like the cover. Page 2 is page 1. 3. Yeah. So three. it should be... So it should be page 1 and... Yeah. So 13 ah. would be... What? That'd be like page six. Six. Yeah. So this one. Oh no. Yeah. This one. CP. Sure. Okay. You enter twenty-eight into the thing. Zero twenty-eight. All three of you lose eight points. Oh shit. Oh. <gasps> yes. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have the perfect amount of sanity. Wait, let me lose eight again. You, <laughs> I'm so close. You, it, uh, the, the, the director responds with, that is incorrect. Please try again. Shit. And one Wrong. X Wrong. appears on the screen. 
I could have sworn that remember, was. Remember, you only need the you only need the SCP of one of either of the ones that you've done. So then we just need the SCP of. Because it grants pure knowledge. Pure knowledge it grants is random and often distressing. Yeah. Ah, uh, darn. Oh well. Okay. Wait, which I don't one know was, what do you guys wait, think. Which one was it? SCP twenty eight zero two eight. Let me. Okay. Give me. Give me a quick second. I need to double check to make sure. Because I'm pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, I. I am super sorry. Everybody gain your eight back. No. You are hundred percent correct. It was SCP twenty eight. I made the mistake. I, I wrote everything down you based better. on their uh, on their uh, item number in the. Uh, so that's uh, my bad. Oh. So so for me, I had Proper it written procedure. down as SCP seventy one. Uh, oh. Yeah, okay. yeah. So that's yeah, my no, bad. So you eight. are so you are you are correct. It was twenty eight. Okay. So yes. Like, sorry. Fuck. Revise revise everything. Uh, um, uh, revise everything. You were correct. Everybody gets their stuff back, and uh, the door opens to the next room. And uh, Thaddeus is suddenly standing there. Thaddeus, you can return yourself to a hundred if you'd like. Okay. You can just tap the T and then type one hundred. Give me, give me a minute. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. That's fine. Are you okay? Crucify him. Oh my god. Oh, there you go. My, right. th my sanity is 9,000. 9,100. <laughs> um, Thaddeus is standing there. You ask him, what the fuck? What happened? And he's like, I don't know. Can I, can I run over to Thaddeus man. and be like, did I miss the Nintendo booth? <laughs> because of E3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, you can. Thaddeus, what is your response? What's a Nintendo? <laughs> Good answer. All right. Um, so, Do I know what happened to me? Uh, all you know is that you were wrapped up with some like ethereal black, like paper-like tentacles, okay. and were pulled into darkness. And then there was a sharp but also pleasurable pain in your entire being. Oh. Like pleasurable, oh. as in like. As in, it was nice, not sexual. And then, oh. and then. Do I still remember the uh, the name? You do not. However, there are two okay. individuals in our party that do. So just keep that in mind for later. <laughs> Excuse me. So, uh, despite the fact that Tom just fucking rushed into the room, and I am going to be saying this without the presence of Doctor Bright, because it's not like he was going to be paying attention anyway. <laughs> um, you enter this room it looks like a giant empty warehouse and in the center of the warehouse is it can really oh, yes. only be described as <laughs> oh is this it yes. really can only be described as a giant fucking meatball yes <laughs> there is a staircase leading to a like vault door on the side of it. Based on your observations, there does not appear to be an elevator door around. So what will you do? You have I go, guys, all right. Uh, first, before we do anything, I need to go pick out a new desk for my room. I run off looking uh, for a desk. Wait a second. Um, okay. <laughs> so that's what Tom's doing. Uh, what is everyone else doing? You have 15 seconds, by the way. Fucking looking through the handbook to figure out what Tommy is. Anyone else have anything? You have five seconds. Same. Can I? Sniff? I want to sniff the meatball. Okay, so the two of you are gonna check the handbook, and Thaddeus is going to go it. over and smell the meatball. <laughs> you found, found it. Fucking found it. <laughs> yeah, I think I found it too. What? <laughs> Page ten. SCP three zero zero eight. Wait, page 10? Was well, it not page 10? Uh, I don't know, actually. Let me check. Oh, I thought eight. it was... Uh... 10. Which number? one? Yeah, what number? Oh, sorry. Hold on. Are we looking at the meatball or looking at you? 
I was wow. talking about the area. <laughs> Are you looking at you? That's so <laughs> fucked up. Uh, no, uh, page four, SCP-3008. Uh, I might have jumped the gun on something. <laughs> <laughs> Page four. Page four. SCP-3008. Top of the page. Ah, oh, there it is. Ah. That's also Thanks. what I was thinking of. All right, so everybody has their thing. Uh, Thaddeus, uh, so, every, so you guys did your own thing. Hopefully Tom found his desk. Uh, Thaddeus, <laughs> uh, Thaddeus approaches the meatball, gives it a nice big whiff, Loses three points for doing so. <laughs> and uh, when you smell the meatball, I'm not going to lie, you're kind of aghast at how it actually just smells like human meat. <laughs> All right. Seven. Um, okay. So there you go. Uh, so that was that. Give me one second. Keep hitting F. Okay, so only two. Not bad. Uh, all right, everybody gets their action again. I'm here to tell you, Tom. Despite you fucking running all over this giant warehouse area, you do not find a desk. Damn it! All right, what is everybody gonna do? Now that I know where I'm at, I try to find a wheelchair. You know what? That might actually be fun. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I should give you guys 30 seconds. Instead of doing an initial action, I should give you 30 seconds to fucking look through the handbook and try to figure out what the fuck SCP <laughs> you're encountering. <laughs> That's way better. I've just been doing it while people have been doing their actions. That's kinda, I was going to kind of suggest that. <laughs> Seven? Eight? Seven? Bottom? Mm. Oh, yeah. Zero zero two, maybe a big meatball. Oh, shoot, page seven. Hold on. I'm meat sure. meatball. By the way, you guys have thirty <laughs> seconds to decide your action. Oh shit! I'm oh, hitting. I'm easy. hitting you with that hourglass. Near the stairs, be prepared. Okay, you're gonna go, uh, you're gonna go near the stairs and be prepared for later. Okay. Before before I move anywhere. I would like to try to find a wheelchair. <laughs> okay. I sadly return and uh, to Thaddeus saying I could not find a desk. <laughs> and what does Thaddeus do? Um, I ask Tom if he wants to poke the meatball. <laughs> and what does Tom say? I agree. To that? Okay. I agree. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's, Dude, that's really fucked. <laughs> okay. Um. Man, you guys, you guys are, you guys are sure that you know which SCP this is, right? Are you sure you want to touch it? <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So Bran goes up next to the staircase. Doctor Bright, similarly to Tom, fucking rushes on ahead, uh, looking for a wheelchair. Uh, Thaddeus takes <laughs> takes Tom's shoulder and is like, "Hey, mate." You wanna fucking touch this fucking meatball? And Tom hell says, yeah. hell yeah. And he goes, he reaches out, and at the moment that he touches it, what does he say? Wish. And he's gone. Oh. Once again he has vanished. <laughs> with not with not a trace in sight. Super smart. Uh <laughs> big brain. I am going to roll again. Shit, I hit I hit F. It's only one. Nice. All right. Uh, once again, what do you guys do? Did I find a wheelchair? No, <laughs> you did not find a wheelchair. Yeah. The fucking warehouse is empty. SCP, please. Tw what? Number. Oh yeah, I know. I. I, I listen, you can I know say the, You guys can discuss. By the way. I know. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm sure. I'm gonna flip. Too. Hourglass, you have 30 seconds. I think this meatball is SCP-002. Yeah, and I agree. What do you think you should do in this circumstance? Because remember, you're looking for the Eight? elevator door. I guess I'll... Page, please. 002? 002? Oh, uh, page 7. 7. Bottom so page correct. 7. 
Yeah, isn't that isn't that what you says? Probably. Uh, I go hand in hand with with the brand, and we look for elevator door. If brand there, agrees. Uh, I I have already told you that you cannot see an elevator door in the warehouse. However, I will remind you that there is a vault door at the top of the staircase leading into the meatball. Leading into? Into the <gasps> The vault door is on the side of the meatball, yes. Weird. Enter the meat zone. <laughs> All right, Thaddeus, congratulations. You are going to be the first person to enter the meatball. Uh, <laughs> you go up the stairs with your massive, tiny, twink-like arms. You, <laughs> you wrestle the giant SpongeBob-esque vault door on the front of this thing, and you open it up. Bran and Dr. Bright join you as the three of you enter. And to be honest, it's kind of just a nice apartment. It's kind of red, like the color scheme is weird, and it smells oh. pretty funky. But it's nice. That's about it. What the do you guys CP. do? Correct. <laughs> sit, sit on, on the couch and just relax for no, like a No, what? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> right? Excuse me? Yeah, absolutely. No. All right. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Dr. Bright. You already said it. Uh, that's going to cause you 15 points. No. <laughs> no, oh, you hit clear, you idiot. Like... No, just, no, stop. You were at 85. You're supposed to be at 70. Just hit T and then 7 0. No touch. Not even brush. There you go. There you so, go. Dr. Bright uh, goes <laughs> and sits down on the fucking couch. Wow. And Idiot. so he sits down on the couch. And relax, it's really man. and it's really intriguing because when he sits down on the couch, the couch is like this weird like orangey color. It's not bad, and when he sits down, it's actually really comfortable. Um uh, worth it. it. Gross. He, He's he sits down on the couch and it's actually like it's really comfortable but kind of squishy, kind of like a waterbed. And you start stroke and you start uh, stroking the armrest and putting your arm on it. And you look over and you realize that the armrest is actually just like woven hair with muscle fibers. Gross. Fascinating. Uh, <laughs> Thaddeus, what will you do? Garishly gross. <laughs> also next to him on the. <laughs> God damn it. All right, you sit God. down next to him, you make the exact same realization. Uh, before Bran has a chance to uh, respond to any of this, uh, who walks in from the adjacent room through the door? But Tom. Oh my God, guys. You would not believe it. Everyone was trying to ask me to prom, and, but they were all weird monsters and stuff. I don't know. It was weird, man. Anyways, what's that? Oh, this is a nice apartment. Well, you guys what do, what will you do, Tom and Brand? You have 30 seconds hey, Tom, to figure it out. Come sit on the couch with us. Door? Is this, is this comfy? Is, is it looking comfy, guys? No. Like, do, yes. Absolutely. No? no. Yes? You know? There's room for three. No. Oh, room for four. Oh, there's room for three? No. I mean, it's it's four, four. Even. Come on. No. Bran, join no. us. No, All right, so the three of you are fucking sitting on the couch. <laughs> um... <laughs> Thaddeus, <laughs> Thaddeus, you lost eight points. So lose eight points. Oh, wait. Uh, Tom, you lost 15. Damn it. <laughs> Detect door. <laughs> Detect door like it's an ability. Guess what, Bran? Uh, turns out that by having literally any brain cells in your head, you realize <laughs> that through the door that Tom just came out of, you can just see the elevator. It, it's Please. like it's in the adjacent room, which appears to be a bathroom, based on what you can see. But everything's like a weird, like yellowish black. So just be aware of that. Um, so what will you actually do, Bren? Elevator. Okay. No. Are you? Touch. No, no touch anything. Just rush to the no. elevator. Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you you rush over to the elevator, you hit the button, and unfortunately, you take a moment and you realize that the light is red. <laughs> you, uh, you hit the button and it goes beep, beep. <laughs> back. No, 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 no. You're fine. Just stay, just stay where you are. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have the three of you who are sitting on the couch roll. 
<laughs> oh. Wait, Thaddeus, you didn't lose. You didn't lose your points. I had uh, ninety-seven. Nine, and then 90? you said lose. <laughs> oh, never mind. It just updated on my screen. It was ninety-seven a second ago, and then I moved my camera, and then it turned to eighty-nine. All right, what did everybody roll? Ninety-nine. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you roll? Oh no! <laughs> All right, so Thaddeus is in the middle. He's fucking, like, arm splaying across Tom and uh, Dr. Bright. And Can I do notices... the flirty thing you do at, like, the movies where you, like, yawn, <laughs> you stretch, yawn and, and put my arms over there? No, you do. you do. You do that. You do that, and you're like, man, this is, like, nice, right? And you're, like, sitting there, and it's like, oh, man, this is, like, kind of a nice time. And uh, for a brief second, you actually realize that Dr. Bright's wearing a necklace, like a silvery necklace, and so you start playing with it, uh, like in between your fingers, and the moment that that happens, suddenly Dr. Bright and Tom are both fucking yoinked into the the, are both couch. yoinked yeah. into the couch. Uh, <laughs> they're both yoinked into the couch, and guess what? You both died. <laughs> Yay! So you're so you can reset yourselves to a uh, hundred, but I'll tell you when you come back. Um, uh, when Doctor Bright got pulled in, uh, you actually held on to his necklace, believe it or not, Thaddeus. So now you're in possession of this silvery necklace with the silvery medallion with a giant "fuck you" ruby on the center of it. Congratulations, <laughs> uh, Bran. Wait expecting something from this turns to the elevator to see if the light turns green. It did not. Uh, <laughs> uh what will you do? There's only two people. So so be careful. Off couch. I'll just calmly get up and say, well that was a situation <laughs> and walk to the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you, you walk over to the elevator with Bran just being like, whoa, dude, <laughs> just like freaking out. You walk over, lo and behold, the second that you are in front of the elevator with Bran, the light turns green. Bran fucking mashes that button as hard as they can, <laughs> and you both get on. Elevator is closed. Congratulations, you have successfully passed this encounter. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, once again, you have an option of where you would like to go. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh. I just realized, I just realized I haven't actually been explaining this. You have, you don't just have to go in a straight line. You can go to anywhere that is adjacent to a place that you've already completed. So you can do like D1, D2, D3, or E4. Where would you like to go? Come on. Uh, D1. You're going to go all the way back up to D1. Okay. Similarly to before, before the door opens up, a panel pops out of the wall behind you, and <laughs> and the director goes, are you fucking serious? <laughs> and says, okay. Sorry. The director says, okay. You've already answered one. What are the, na what are the SCP numbers of the two other SCPs that you guys have encountered so far? Uh, both? Both. Uh, the meatball was zero zero seven. Zero. Uh, no zero zero two. Once again, Thanks. you guys have to you guys have to agree and then tell me when you're ready to submit. Zero zero two, correct. You both say zero zero two. Meatball. You both yes. lose one point, but you are correct. Uh. Due to the arbitrarium that I have established, Dr. Bright has returned. <laughs> Thaddeus. Oh, no. Oh, I, I'm Thad alive. Okay. Th Th Thaddeus comes to the realization that somehow uh, the medallion that he was carrying, uh, Dr. Bright's necklace, has vanished from his possession and is now back on Dr. Bright's neck. Very yeah. strangely, okay. however, Dr. Bright looks nothing like he did a moment ago. In fact, he is now a, like, medium-height uh, Filipino uh, young adult. Brand? <laughs> Howdy. 
and, and is just hanging <laughs> out. What a man. Uh, you have one other one if you wanna if you wanna do it, uh, or you can just leave. Nine nine six three, possibly. Uh, what page is that? Twelve. Nine six three. <laughs> 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 hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Ran. <laughs> What a man. Such a man. <laughs> Bran, Bran has uh, done their research, unfortunately. You got, come on, you got, you guys either got to decide to leave. 963 question mark? I mean, you're not wrong. You have to enter it into the panel. Bran, you. Me? Yes. Oh, Fatty, I am, Fatty's I has to, well, actually, all three of you have to agree. You have to, you have to enter the number into the panel. Agree? Question mark. That Dave. is. What? Ted? Dave. <laughs> or sorry, Thaddeus. I'm reading through th things, trying to find the one. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot to read. Uh, they're 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 trying to enter in SCP nine. What was it? Nine six one. Nine six three. Twelve. Nine nine six three into the panel. You have to agree or disagree. Oh, I ag agree. Okay, so you hit. So you put what into the panel? Nine six two. Three. Nine six no. three. Nine, six. Keep trying to trick you. Um, <gasps> you put nine. You put nine six three into the panel. The director responds with an ellipsis and then goes, "Yeah, I guess that technically counts." And uh, so, and and suddenly <laughs> and suddenly when no one is looking, uh, Tom has returned. <gasps> Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> Hi, Tom. <laughs> what a fun ride in that vehicle. All right. It was comfy though. It was. <laughs> I don't regret it. It was a nice couch, he says. It was a nice smack. <laughs> it's Brand, Brand fucking smacks you. Guess what? You lose two points because Brand smacked you. Oh, sad. Both of you. <laughs> okay. Um, How do you slap the Filipino? So when you guys, when you guys, <laughs> with black hair and a bald and a balding spot in the back of his hair, he's also a big dumb stupid nerd. Uh... Oh my god! <laughs> Man, I wonder who you're describing. Yeah, I know. I can't believe Janine's here. Um. Anyway, oh, so, oh. <laughs> so, um, at, so so Tom returns. The door opens, and it's actually really weird because the door opens, and you're actually just on the outside of like an office building. In fact, the like you immediately walk over to a bus stop. And there's just a dude sitting there, and but he's wearing a fucking SCP uh, ID card. What do you do? You have 60 <laughs> seconds. You have 60 seconds to read and or make a decision. Hey, man, you waiting on a bus, I ask him. <laughs> yeah. Not or either. any other kind of vehicle? I'm, I, I... I'm, I'm waiting for the bus, yeah. Why? Where are you going? I'm going to Facility Z. I'm supposed to start my shift there. Uh, cool. Fun. Hey, buddy. Uh, do you wanna you wanna wear my necklace for a little bit? Uh, <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure I know who you are, Doctor Bright. So I'm not Perfect. gonna be. So you... I'm not gonna be tricked by this again. So you. Again. <laughs> 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 so what you're saying is, you're saying no to a superior. You're not my superior, sir. Can you We're both senior can you pretend, researchers. Can you pretend that you're my superior? <laughs> what, <laughs> that I'm your superior? Oh, sorry, I'm your superior. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I, I guess I can. I guess I can pretend just because we're waiting for the bus. But yet, yeah, so what do you want, sir? Well, I'll wear my necklace. Um, No. <laughs> he continues to say no. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> I can't believe you're ma- I can't believe you're gonna make me do this, Lawrence. Um, oh, oh, so potential. the so the the bus pulls up. No. The bus. <laughs> the bus pulls up. No. All four of you get, or all five no. of you get on the bus. No. And I, oh yeah. No. And unfortunately, no. uh, the tried. automatic. <laughs> unfortunately, the automatic AI that normally drives the bus appears to I be drive. malfunctioning, <laughs> and the doctor, I, who me. no one, who no one asked their name, <laughs> decides. No. <laughs> decides he volunteers. No. And he goes. No! I hit. <laughs> he Wait, I, I, and I can drive. Guys, I know. I, I, can, I know how to drive. You know. Guys, I, I, it's Satan. okay, doctor, sir. Satan. Well, uh, my crank rifle. Satan. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. So let me let let me actually get this out, and then you guys can do your thing. So, uh, the the good doctor. Uh, volunteers to drive the bus to Facility Z so you guys can clock in on time. Uh, no. What do you guys say, one at a time, in response to uh, his very generous request? I go, no, nah, it's okay, man. I, I, I can do it. You know, I, I, I've been learning how to drive online. You know, I, I thought it would be good practice. No, Maybe start no, on a bus. No, 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 no. Listen, I have so Prior much. Permission. I have so much experience with driving. You should Dr. just let me. It'll, it'll be a little fun. You, you should just. You should just let me do it. Don't worry. I no, man. It's cool. Like I, 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 I ball. I oh, okay. 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 And he's so gone. that's all right. Well, I guess he's. I, I guess he's gonna let me do it. All right. Doctor Gerald. Uh, yes, lad. <laughs> what, what can I do for you? Prior permission. Uh, yeah. I mean, I have a driver's license, so yeah. Who? Any. What no, do you mean? I, prior I, permission. I, listen. Forbidden. List, what do you mean forbidden, all right? that That's forbidden. just a word, all right? We're all forbidden. just. Forbidden. No, it's fine. I'm going to just him. let me go. <laughs> Bran is trying to grab onto his, onto his like, sleeve, but Bran isn't very physically strong. Uh, Help. Do, uh The good doctor, the good doctor has continued to, like, shimmy his way towards the driver's seat. Sit. See. Oh, I'll, I point my Don't gun at his head and say, "Let Tom drive." Tom's not. Li- listen, listen, <laughs> sir. Clearly, you're a member of the security personnel, but Tom's not here. I'm the only person with the driver's license. We got. I, I got to do Thanks. it. No. I will allow. I will allow Doctor Daryl to drive as long no. as I'm on top of the bus six, six, six. and riding it like a rodeo. Satan. Six, six, I, six. I vote on Dr. Gerald. I like the man. I will allow six, Dr. Six, Gerald six. to drive as long as I'm the one actually driving. <laughs> so wait, wait. You have to explain to me how that works. Uh, I threaten to. Sh- I, I threaten to give. He gives me his driver's license or I shoot him. That's not how that works. <laughs> it's. I threaten to shoot him. <laughs> okay. So you are pointing a gun at, at a forty-something-year-old researcher. <laughs> You're yeah. threatening to shoot him if he doesn't give you his driver's license. Doctor Terry, just, just the driver's I, license. Yes. What he he, he, shout, says, he shouts over the shoulder of Thaddeus to Brand I, behind Thaddeus. What? I what do you see, want? SCP six six six. No. Listen. Yes. Listen. Yes. Yes. I went to anomalous therapy. We're good. It's fine. No. It's no permission. fine. Let no. Let him drive. No. We'll no. record through our phones. We'll get so many hits on YouTube. Uh, Doctor uh, Doctor Bright, do you do anything to assist in this situation? I, I assist Doctor Gerald. You assist no. Doctor Gerald. Drive. So Doctor Bright. So Doctor Bright is like doing the comedy thing of like uh, Thaddeus is like pointing the gun at Gerald's head <laughs> and Dr. Bright is like listen 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 like lowering Thaddeus. his arm down but the second he lets go Thaddeus like raises his gun again so he does that over and over and while this like comedic moment is going on and Thaddeus is like what the fuck are you doing Dr. I... Gerald is in the chair 
I <laughs> I pull the trigger. <laughs> you pull the trigger, but because Dr. Bright is fucking with your arm, the bullet just sails right through the front windshield, and the whole window just, like, completely shatters. So now it's just, like, a big open hole. And Gerald's like, well, we gotta go get this fixed now. And he turns... <laughs> He turns the ignition. He turns no. the ignition. Yes. <laughs> he, turns the, yes. he turns the ignition, and you start rolling away. Brand necklace now. Uh, Doctor <laughs> Doctor Bright. Doctor Bright, as was stated previously, has already thrown open the emergency hatch on top of the bus and is climbing out and also on his phone playing like the most heavy metal, like <laughs> like music he possibly can. Uh, what does Thaddeus do? Because Thaddeus and uh, Bran have both stumbled backwards due to the sudden acceleration of the vehicle. It should be noted that the vehicle has now suddenly uh, in, uh, accelerated within moments to 80 miles per hour. Question. Bright dead? <laughs> Acceleration. Dead. No. <laughs> no. Dr. Bright somehow, despite his diminutive form, is able to stay on top. Oh, he's yeah. like he's like that video of like the guy in the hurricane with the American flags like Whoa! Dr. Bright's doing that, but doing like devil horns in the air. Thaddeus. <laughs> Necklace. Can I, pull this, can I pull this stop request? <laughs> can I just pull this up? <laughs> yes, you can. And you do. And I... believe it or not, Gerald acknowledges the stop request, pulls what? over, and lets the two of you out if you desire. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you both so you both leave. Needless to say, Bye, there's Bright. a fucking sonic boom as, as, Bye, the, as the bus as the bus <laughs> accelerates to max speed again, Bye, and inexplic Bye. Inex inexplicably at the end of this municipal road, there's like a ramp somehow due to construction, and oh. the whole thing starts to go through oh. the air, and just as it gets, oh, it, 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 just as it like, uh, just as it like starts going through. Who returns? But Tom. Oh but, my god! <laughs> but Tom returns in a burst of flame, which sets the bus on fire. <laughs> Tom. Tom is now inside of the bus, screaming. Doctor Bright is on top of the bus, fucking going nuts, and Doctor Gerald yeah, is Dr. like, Gerald. "I did it!" I'm gonna make it! And turns out that just beyond that construction ramp is the, is the like, tiny one-room office of Facility Z, because Facility Z is actually just the elevator that leads down. And he is barreling towards it as the bus is, like, tearing itself apart. He crashes <laughs> into a gigantic fuck you boulder. Uh. <laughs> and, and I'm going to have... So, Tom, you did not... This was not your choice, so I'm only going to make you lose five points. But fucking Dr. Bright, you lose 50 points. <laughs> so you go down to 48, and you're both going to roll. All right. <laughs> Don't worry, Idiot. Thaddeus. Thaddeus, <laughs> don't have to fucking. All right, so you're fine. What did you What did you roll, Bright? Sixty eight. All right, oh, guess no. what, Doctor Bright? Fucking kablams ka like nobody's business, and uh, his medallion, which doesn't have a scratch on it, somehow. Uh, twirls through the air majestically and uh, lands in Bran's hand. <laughs> okay. Um, no. Somehow, no. at the very somehow at the very last second before uh, before the bus exploded, Tom was able to like open up the rear emergency door and Harrison? roll out. And he no he roll he rolls out so he's a little dinged up, but it's nothing he hasn't dealt with before. Just at that moment, Thaddeus and Bran walk up and are and are like, "Man, why didn't we just walk?" 
<laughs> that was crazy, guys. <laughs> Forced bus. Hey, you guys. Jason! You guys, you guys open Jason. the door into the Facility Z offices. The receptionist that you saw earlier that day is like, oh, welcome back. Are you guys done with your shift? And you're like, no, Dr. we're... Dr. Gerald. And you're like, Dr. no, we're a fourth Gerald. of the... You say Dr. Gerald, and she's like, oh, I understand. <laughs> 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 you, you go, you hit the elevator, lo and behold, it opens, and you go in. Congratulations, you've successfully completed room D1. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God. <laughs> Fucking. Um, this time, because you know that Dr. Bright is not here, you kind of assume that the panel is going to open again, since you clearly already know who that SCP was. But the panel never does, unfortunately. Um, so what's the next room? Where are you guys going? Man, Brand's being so careful that you're not losing any fucking points. <laughs> Depressed. C. C1. Uh, C1. C1. Yeah. Okay, so you guys agree to go to C1. Um, the doors to C1 open, and you notice immediately that in that it's just a very short hallway that leads to a like old decrepit like uh like doorknob type door you know what i mean like wooden it's like looks shitty door and it's just like a really short hallway but who is sitting in a chair right there but fucking dr gerald <laughs> dr gerald <laughs> dr gerald's there and he's like oh hi guys i'm glad that you could make it uh what's going on what are you guys doing no permission i'm sorry what <laughs> what do you mean that was, bad, wasn't very cash money, bro. Bad Dr. G. Listen, that was the furthest I was ever able to go in a car, in a vehicle. I'm proud. <laughs> That's good. I think there's a reason for that. I, no, listen, it's just bad luck. I swear it'll get better with uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, while Dr. Gerald is exasperatingly <laughs> saying nonsense, um, he fails to notice that there's like a panel <clears throat> above him and the word and uh, text like marquees across it saying, uh, put the necklace on him. <laughs> oh, please. Bran. <laughs> Bran still has possession of the necklace. Yes. Bran. You want? Should I? Yeah. Dr. Cheryl. Bring back our friend. Y yeah? What What brand? Do you... This? I hold up. Oh, yeah, sure. Right. I love... Uh, sure. You know what? I think that, based on the fact that I just <laughs> obliterated <laughs> Dr. Bright in a ball of fire, I think it's only... <laughs> <laughs> as he puts the <laughs> as he puts the thing on, he's clearly in fucking agonizing pain. <laughs> um, next time he speaks, however, he sounds like this. Hello, that was <laughs> crazy. Wow! <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. But too bad I'm already inhabiting Doctor <laughs> Joe. Oh, you have the powers of Dr. Gerald. <laughs> I, have, I have the powers. To no blow driving up the for you. I heard drive. Is that? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so, you guys do this. Welcome back, Dr. Bright. Dr. Gerald will be missed. But. <laughs> hey, he'll be back. I think. But, <laughs> maybe. But uh, you then uh, turn your attention towards that <laughs> decrepit door that I mentioned previously. You open it up, and it's actually like an orphanage. It's actually quite strange, because it's an orphanage that clearly... The orphanage itself is fucking ancient. It is a ridiculously old building, but it's clearly been, like, updated, if that makes sense. Like, uh, there's not exactly refurbishments, but there's just, like, reinforced steel beams everywhere... And clearly stuff has been painted over multiple times. Not really an understanding as to why. 
and uh, you look left, you look right down the hallway. Directly in front of you is just a big hole. Like something crashed oh. through it. You look left, you look right, and you see three doors on either side. Uh, to your left, the three doors are all just burnt to hell. They're all just they're all just completely charred to nothingness. <clears throat> and to oh. your right, to your right, two of the doors uh, are one of them is frozen, like 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 frost like frost covered, and uh, and the and the next one next to it, uh, the door is like smashed but just ajar. So it's just kind of like smashed open. The final door is just untouched. What do you do? When is a door not a door? Hmm. I mean, so we agree the hole is SCP-1437, right? You are yelling really fast. <laughs> page 13. 13. Dr. Bright, despite the fact that he's been in this facility for who knows how long... Um, <laughs> <laughs> despite the fact that he's been here for who knows how long uh has not actually read the um, handbook <laughs> or, or or uh what is one second or uh scp 231 what page four no, 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 no. Five. Oh, sorry, I forgot to turn the timer on. SCP, SCP-2000, sorry. SCP-2000? <laughs> oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe? Uh, I'll remind you, you guys have 60 seconds to decide what you're going to do. Um, 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 all right, right, question mark? Can we expect the doors closer? Uh, you guys have to say it one at a time, I'm sorry. R -A. Inspect the doors closer. Okay, you want to inspect the doors closer. What did Bran say? Yeah. Just real fast. R.A.? What does R.A. mean? Resident uh, assistant. <laughs> yeah, it says resident <laughs> assistant. Uh, you're, you're looking at the glossary, right? Uh, yes. Don't see it? I about to say, uh, can, you give, can you give me the context? I have to remember myself, to be uh, honest. Just, what, just where, where are you looking at it? What do you mean? Well, where you're saying what is RA? Yeah, I was on SCP 2000. Say the page number. Five? Page five. Yes. Page five, SCP 2000. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Standard RAs are placed hexagonally around it. Oh, reality anchors. Uh, oh. That's good to know. Not what I was thinking at all. <laughs> I thought research assistant. <laughs> no, uh, reality anchor. In fact, uh, uh, one of our members might uh, have a reality anchor with them at the moment. Uh, I don't know if they want to who? talk about that at all, but they don't have to. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh. Hmm. All right, so so Minecraft. Tom wants to Tom wants to look at the environment a little bit. Bran, what are you doing? Bran uh, stands there, standing. All right, you stand there, uh, Doctor Bright. What are you gonna do? <laughs> confused between the two SCPs, I'm trying to figure out which one's which. You uh, have, oh, by the way, I'm I'm pausing the timer. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well. I guess this is part of experimentation. I open one of the doors. On which side, left or right? Uh, you describe one of the doors as being the untouched one. That would be on the far left. Far left it is. Okay, and Thaddeus, what are you going to do? I'll open another door. Okay, so before right. either of you open your doors, I'm going to let Tom do his inspection first. So Tom oh takes a moment to look at all six doors because there's three then a hole in the wall and then three more uh the ones on the far side the rooms they're in like behind the door because each door has like a window on it oh that was the timer that scared the shit out of me <laughs> <laughs> i thought something was about to explode um uh in 
the three rooms where the entire hallway is just charred to hell. Uh, the far right room, similarly just charred to complete utter blackness. You can't even see into the room. The next one is less charred, but has scratches all over the place. The uh, third one, which is the one that's directly next to the hole, has a giant hole <laughs> in the side of it, almost like that entire back wall was also smashed out. Uh, the backhand huh. side wall. It actually just leads to the same hole. Uh, directly across from the hole, which you're now on the left side, that first room, which had frost covering it, the entire inside of the room is similarly colored in, uh, covered in frost, and you see what appears to be like a pile of snow on the middle, uh, like in the middle of the room. It's just like a bump of snow. The next room over from that is the room that uh, has the door that's just been smashed up. And unlike the second room from the uh, on the right, instead of being scratches everywhere, there's like puncture marks everywhere, like giant just just in like all the surfaces, and you see similar damage done to the door. Then hmm. you and Doctor Bright both look into and inspect the far door at the same time, and you see a young woman in a very modest dress sitting in a chair she is clearly being restrained in some way but not to her extreme discomfort and she is just facing the back wall she is blindfolded and has like noise suppressors on her head Thaddeus goes to open a door he chooses the far right door just because it's like on the opposite side of where everyone else is the moment he touches the door the entire fucking door just collapses into ash <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. um, and I will re I will I will ask for the sake of posterity, Doctor Bright. Are you still wanting to open this door? Sure. Okay, Doctor Bright. Doctor Bright opens the door. Uh, he enters in, and the turn's about to end. By the way, because uh, Doctor Bright sees. On uh, hanging on the wall is a modernistic clipboard, like it's like a it's like a modern like metal plastic clipboard type thing, uh, with a list of procedures on it. All of them are fucking horrible. They say things like you have to punch this young woman in the back of the head, you have to burn the insides of her thighs, you have to pull on her hair until her scalp bleeds. It's like a list of like six or seven things that are just atrocious. And that's it. That's the end of the turn. All of you lose five points. Sad. Great. Oh, I'm, I should be back at 100, shouldn't I? Yes, because you died and came back. All right. <laughs> died. Yeah, you died. You exploded in a ball of fire. <laughs> <laughs> I got off on my stuff. How many points did we lose again? Uh, everybody five. lost five, so you should be at 95. All right. Uh, I did my roll. Uh, you guys continue to be really lucky. <laughs> um, Gamer. What will you do? I Dr. I'm... Bright is by default going to act first. All right, cool. So I, uh, you said there was like a, what do you say, a list on the wall? It's, it's like a clipboard. You took the clipboard, and it's like an itinerary of like seven or eight things, and they're all just like horrible, torturous stuff that it tells you to do to this girl. All right, cool. I rip that paper off, <laughs> put in my own paper in, and list a whole bunch of wholesome stuff. <laughs> like, wow. Like, give this person some hugs. <laughs> Treat her wounds. A little, a little, I don't, I don't a little know. kiss on the forehead. All right, you got okay. You gotta give me a second, cause <laughs> I gotta, gotta think about what the fuck this is about to do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. I have an, I, I have an idea as to what's about to happen. Uh, all right. Who, uh, who else is gonna do something? By the way, uh, I'm gonna give you a timer, so that way you guys can maybe think about who this is. <laughs> Uh, uh, so we can uh, just freely converse right now. You have fifty something seconds to f figure uh, it out. Uh, 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 page four, SCP two three one. Page four. Page two three. Is I 
think. I don't know. That's just uh, what I'm Seven. thinking. I don't, I'm not sure. Wait, Seven page sisters. Four. Seven sisters. Oh. Yeah. No. Seven sisters. Oh. I mean, that's only one. Yeah. But there could so be more. seven sisters. I say, I say, we say, like, do some wholesome stuff to this woman. Uh, so SCP one six six. What page? Page. Oh. Oh. Uh, Ten seconds. Fourteen. Not sure. <laughs> Don't think. Oh, yes. maybe. Well. Time's up. All right. Oh, no. So now discussion is over. You have to talk about what you're going to do. So, Dr. Bright, you still want to do some nice, wholesome stuff for this woman? Absolutely. All right. Oh. What is everyone I else going to do? want to walk over to her and uh, give her a nice pat on the shoulder and be like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, so I'll check off one of the items on the list. Give a pat on the back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is what is Thaddeus and Bran gonna do? Um, I'm gonna check the other rooms. The one with the claw You're marks. gonna continue to look through the other rooms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and Bran, what are you gonna do? Run. <laughs> Away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Far away. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to. Uh, I'm going to have because there is no apparent danger just quite yet. <laughs> I am going to have Thaddeus act first, and Thaddeus is going to check the two other rooms that are on the right hand side. He goes to that second room where the hallway is burned, but the inside of the room is all scratched up. He opens it, and due to your advanced like zoological type knowledge you actually recognize that the scratches are actually from like shark teeth like it's that same sort of striation pattern that you get sometimes with that kind of uh, mm -hmm. creature but the striations don't make sense for the shape of a jaw so it's clearly something sharp and serrated but doesn't make sense to be in a mouth so you do that and then you check that third room and once again, you go to the you go to that third room, and you see that the entire back wall and side wall that would connect to the adjourning adjourning room are just completely blasted out. And you and Bran, Bran is fucking panicked. Who knows why? Is fucking panicked and runs through the hole that's directly in front of them, which was across the hall from the elevator. So you see Bran start running through there, and both of you take note of an elevator <laughs> with a green light <laughs> that no one thought to look for. <laughs> That's directly outside. <laughs> and you start to run with Bran towards that elevator. Um, okay. <laughs> because you guys already decided to lock in on this, uh, Gamer. Tom goes over to the young girl and he pats her on the head. There's like a headphone there, but she but still pats her on the head and goes like, Hey, how's it going? Like pulls her pulls her thing out like a little bit, like the, the noise canceling thing, like, Hey, how's it going? And Doctor Bright like gives her like a nice pat on the back, being like, Yeah, you know, how how's it how's it going? How's it doing? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loses ten points. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he loses 10 points um give me a second i gotta roll <laughs> i can't believe i have to fucking do this oh my god <laughs> can you guys see my result 89 uh, or 86 89 you see my counter oh, oh. <laughs> good bad uh, you, uh, let's just say that you guys don't have to deal with something even more terrible. So you're fine. Oh. Um, oh. My God. so, uh, Thaddeus and, uh, Bran are fucking booking it towards the elevator and Tom and Dr. Bright are like really getting quite handsy with this woman that they have no idea who she is. And she, oh, not she too was, handsy. Well, I mean, like, yeah, you're patting her on the head on and giving there. her a pat on the back. It's a little much, considering that prior to this, she was completely sensory deprivated. 
She had no sight and no sound, and suddenly a dude is asking her, how's it going? And <laughs> another dude is touching her on the back, which I didn't actually mention this. She's wearing, like like I said, it's like an old, like, modest dress. So when you touch the fabric, it is fucking old. <laughs> <laughs> like the fabric, uh -huh. fi the fabric feels like it's been in like an attic for seventy thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> um, she responds not pleasantly to suddenly having you know stimulation, and she screams on the top of her lungs so loud Ooh. that both Tom and Doctor Bright lose another ten points. <laughs> uh -oh. Great. Damn it, I'm so close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grant, you gain one point. Yes! There you go. Yes! Um, this is where you guys will get to make decisions again. You have 60 seconds. Elevator. Let's see. So well, that wasn't nice. Like, we I, th I think we should just leave. Oh. Yeah, I made that list so whoever's been not taking care of her will now take care of her. Exactly. Yeah. I think I I think we're good now. I think we did our civic duty. We did our civic duty. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking terrified the shit out of some random girl and you're like, Yeah, we did good. <laughs> we did good. <laughs> Alright, Thaddeus and Bran, what are you gonna do? Elevator. I'll go to the elevator. <laughs> Alright. Um so Thaddeus and Bran due to the fact that they were already fucking booking it towards the elevator, smash that like button and immediately, <laughs> and immediately vault into the elevator, which the elevator, <laughs> the, once again, that panel that's been doing the funny emoji shit is just all exclamation points. <laughs> it is it, Hurry! it is all exclamation points. Uh, Tom and Dr. Bright turn to, uh, uh, they turn to like leave the room that they were just in. And suddenly, the room gets very warm. Uh, they turn around, and uh, suddenly they're overwhelmed with a sense of pity for this girl. She, she, she is able, because uh, Tom like took it off for a second, she's able to jostle the noise-canceling headphones off. And she just, in the sweetest, most British voice you could possibly imagine, just, goes, just goes, I'm sorry for screaming please come back and despite your best efforts <laughs> you do <laughs> you return right. to this girl's side and uh i won't say explicitly what you guys do uh because it's just general nice stuff uh dr bright like starts singing her a really nice song that he didn't know <laughs> that he knew and tom uh just starts doing like dances it's just whatever his body feels like doing oh, you know shit. i like... figured it out <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just doing just doing stuff like that and 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 the, and the girl is just laughing to herself she's having a great time uh uncharacteristically uh, the elevator uh has the option uh the 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 button to force the door closed on the elevator is now lit up <laughs> Oh. Um, and I will once again allow you guys to make decisions. Um, I'm gonna go back, is... see if I can shoot a trank rifle at the lady. <laughs> she, Figure out. she is, she is, uh, she would be around a corner, so it would take you, it would take you just like a hot second to get there. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Bran, what are you going to do? What SCP, yo? <laughs> uh, 14, page 14, SCP-166, I think. Uh... I'm, giving you six, I'm giving you guys 60 seconds to discuss what you think you should do. I'll remind you that Tom and uh, Dr. Bright appear to be entranced. We're having oh. a good time. Please? Question mark, leave. You guys go on Brand, without Brand us, says, you know. We'll... Brand yeah, says we'll more on. specifically to Thaddeus. <laughs> no, leave. Okay, you guys so go so, on so us, come hell or high water, time. Brand wants to leave. <laughs> leave. Uh, I'm do I'm still doing my trank rifle thing. <laughs> okay, well, 
let's reset this timer then. So Thaddeus fucking books it, right? He fuck he fucking books it out, and he does this fucking cool action slide that you see in like in TV shows, <laughs> where he like rounds the corner through the hole, and he's like and he's like Tokyo drifting his way to the room, and as he gets into the room, he sees that the girl is now like floating. <laughs> <laughs> off the ground. Oh my god. She is glowing red like there's a red aura all around her. She is gently spinning and she's also singing the same song that Dr. Bright was just singing a moment ago. And Dr. Bright and uh uh Tom they're not taller per se, but let's just say all of their extremities and their torso is now like 50% stretched out. So, and they are both wildly dancing and singing in, in like a circle around her. Thaddeus, you have the option. Fucking Bran is mashing that button to like close the door, right? Clo- they're fucking mashing the button as hard as they can. Thaddeus, you have the option of either losing... Because <laughs> you're going to be such a fucking hero if you if you do this successfully... You have the option of losing 20 points right now and then rolling, or you can just say, fuck it, lose five, and leave with Bran. We'll do the 20 boys. (laughs) All right, lose 20 20 points. Uh, What a god. Boy. (laughs) Action man. All right. I'll remind you that the rifle that you have... Uh, can hold two trank darts at the same time, so you will get <gasps> two. Oh, you baby. SCP. What? So go. Do I roll? Yes. What is that? That's a that's a fail, but you get one more chance. That's a pass. So the first trank dart that you shoot just somehow just kind of like bends away from her and just plinks off the like stone wall behind her. The second one, however, just gets her right in the leg as she's like spinning towards you. And although (laughs) she does not stop, although she does not stop like glowing and floating, she does stop singing and both... Tom and Dr. Bright are just like stand there dazed and they're like, ugh, almost as if Out. almost as if they've been tranquilized. I am going to just take the obligation here and say that Thaddeus with his tremendous strength fucking grabs both of them by the collar despite the fact that they are now like 50% taller than they were a moment ago and just fucking yeets them as as fast as he can out of the building and he chucks them through and then dives through the doors just as they close all four of you made it I have always hated lead women you are you you are still tall however you did fail that encounter. Damn. Uh, SCP, I don't understand what you're talking about. Um, Do you mean SCP wingdings? Wingdings! <laughs> Smart. Uh, no talk. <laughs> no clipboard. No save. Uh, no clipboard, no save. No, no clipboard. <laughs> um, no floppy. Really SCP-166, that didn't... That... I don't know. I don't know, actually. It might be SCP Wingdings. Wingdings. Probably, it's probably right. 166, comfortable. This? No. True. All True, right. good point. Uh, you guys completed <laughs> that room. Um, obviously, we're out of time, technically. I would, oh, if you guys bad. are okay, I would like to do one more, just so that way we can round this out at three hours instead of you know, one and a half or two and a half. Uh, so yeah. if you guys are okay, I would like to do one more. Sure. Sure. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll do this again tomorrow. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. <laughs> um, uh, so both Tom and Dr. Bright, they're still 
stretched is all I can how I can really describe it as. They're both still I'll stretched. Describe it as tall. tall man. <laughs> can I ask Tom tall. how the weather is there? Well, the thing is that you would ask Tom that, but both of them still seem to be out of it. They're like Matt. they're not oh. they're not like singing and dancing anymore, but they don't want to be here. Clearly. So, where would you guys like to go? Can Anywhere. I, give Tom I guess it doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Choose. I about to say someone pick something. You have a lot uh, of options. You have a lot of options now. D two, D two, D two, D two, D two, D two. Okay, so you guys all agree D2. that you want to go to D two. R two, D two. D two. It is known. Okay. You guys go. So, man, I had plans for this room, but I have no fucking idea how this is going to work with Grand Lawrence <laughs> in the current <laughs> state that they are. <laughs> this is kind of... Whoo! Okay, uh, give me a quick second. Uh, do, 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 uh, Gamer. Gamer. Okay. <laughs> Tired. So tired. Is that Gamer. is that Saba or Bran talking? <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the elevator descends, the doors open, and immediately you are overwhelmed with just a thick blanket of humidity. And just oh. the smell of just decay. And when I say decay, I don't mean... When I say decay, I don't mean, like, rotting corpses. I literally just mean swamp. Because when you look out in front of you, it is a vast landscape of just bayou, marshland. As far as the eye can see, it's constant just bugs and bugs animals just making noises like in in all directions <clears throat> excuse me and you take a step out of the elevator as is your want and immediately all the animals stop making noise okay just right. out oh I, I should note that the time this is like mere seconds before the sun goes down. Like, the sun is barely peeking over the horizon, and it is quickly leaving. You can see in the direction of the sun uh, that there is, like, a... We'll call it, like, a cabin, but it's like it's like one of those ramshackle, like, bayou hut type things. I'm going to give you guys 60 seconds to discuss and figure out what you want to do. Go. Uh, so, like, talk about what SCP? Just discuss in general. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um. I don't know. I got. Anyone I got got any two ideas? Decision. Oh, I got two guesses. What this SCP is? What you got? I got either SCP one oh six. Oh, they're both in page three. So I'm page guessing three. it's either SCP one oh six, just because of the rotting. Well, he. I don't know. Uh, the foreman then describe it as rotting corpse, more like swampland. But perhaps. And I also thought, <laughs> good law, uh, good lord, SCP six eight two on the top. Mm. Oh no! Sh should be really interesting. Mm, don't know. Hopefully not. <laughs> 25, 25 uh, seconds. Both of them are not the number, excellent but... choices. It could be SCP page four, four thousand and page four. What four thousand? Oh, this is I would, yeah, I saw that, but I'm not. How do we know magical Time's up. yet? Shit. All right, you guys have to make your decisions as to what you want to do. We <laughs> see you over the cabin. <laughs> Okay, you elect to, you elect to approach the cabin. Yeah, it's getting dark. 
it's all oh it should be noted there. by the way there is oh. light coming from the cabin uh, the uh, look uh, around uh. elevator you want to you want to look around your immediate environment and see if there's an elevator around i will see. join brand okay so you will do, so tom right. uncharacteristically wants to look <laughs> for an exit because he does not feel super i don't want to be here <laughs> i want to go back <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back. I want to leave. Where's the over. nice lady? The nice lady who Where's made us the tall. Nice lady? Who made us tall? <laughs> um, Thaddeus, what will you do? I'll go with Doctor Bright. You're going with Doctor Bright to approach the cabin. Yeah. Okay. Understood. So, uh, Bran and Tom, uh, you turn around because remember you just exited the elevator. You turn around. And even the elevator is gone. It's just, yeah, there's no evidence of where it used to be. You look around your environment, and as you do your, like, searching, you see that there is some stuff in the environment. Um, there is, like, how do you describe it? It's a strange trampling. Like, there's a lot of animals going through this area. It's obviously a swamp. You kind of expect that. But these things are heavy. But they also have, like, three toes, which nothing else... Like, you can't think of anything that would have that. Maybe a zoologist might. But, um... Uh, so, it, so it's like... So it's just everywhere. And But the thing is, is that you can tell that they're heavy because, like, fallen tree stumps are snapped in half in the shape of, like, these footprints. And despite the fact that you're looking for the elevator, uh, the sun has gone down. And it is extremely dark. Like, you can't even see your hand in front of your face dark. And so... Uh, dark hallway dark. Dark hallway dark with Grant coming <laughs> at you for a vine. Or, sorry, for a snap. That was um, Dave. Was that Dave? That was Dave. <laughs> I don't have that I'm video, haunted. so I don't remember. Um, uh, Dr. Bright and Thaddeus are both making enough noise that... Uh, despite not wanting to be here and wanting to look for the elevator, you clearly can't really go anywhere else, and so you follow their noise as they are f going towards the cabin. <clears throat> okay. Similarly to what I just described, as the two of them approach the cabin, Thaddeus takes note of the exact same footprints that were in the environment around, and makes the shocking uh, assertion of, like, this looks like fucking ostrich tracks. Like, oh, shit. Clearly giant birds. No. But we're in a fucking swamp. This doesn't make any fucking sense. God. Sorry to speak for you. Sorry to speak for you, Thaddeus. But, um, and you guys continue to approach the cabin. Uh, Bran, in their infinite wisdom, hmm. <laughs> Here's something very quickly moving, but it's far away. It's one of those things. Like, have you ever heard? Have you ever had that thing where, like, you can hear a car, like it's clearly like several blocks away, but you could tell that that car was fucking moving. It's kind of the same thing, but it's not a car. It's a thump 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 thump, thump. and that's that. Uh, all, all of you guys make it to the cabin and Dr. Bright in his typical brash uh, overtone uh, which is very nice seeing that he is recovering extremely quickly from the mental influence that may have been put upon him uh, <laughs> opens the door and what do you see on the inside but a bunch of fucking eggs <laughs> you have hey, guys. you have sixty seconds to discuss. What is CP, guys. please? Okay, page fourteen. SCP three one nine nine. We fucking smashing the eggs. First of all, is on our list. Oh, well, <laughs> the chicken go. eggs. <laughs> I fucking hate these SCPs. Uh, Which number? Three one nine nine. Page fourteen. Oh. Forty seconds. You have to discuss what you're gonna do. <laughs> All right. They are. They the will. Egg. It's a. Yeah. We we have to smash the up, eggs but... and get Cold? the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. Cold. I'm doing... Cold. 
Uh, they do not apply heat under any circumstances. Yeah, cold. It should be noted that <laughs> you guys are in the bayou. Itself. It's extremely warm. Ah, cold. <laughs> cold. Let's go WWE on these eggs. Door. Oh, elevator yeah. hook. <laughs> okay, so some of us should smash the eggs, and then some should look for the elevator. Wait, smash uh, elevator first. Or smash elevator. Smash, smash the elevator. The elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. All right. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, I was hoping that this would happen sooner, but I now have to explain how uh, dangerous situations will work. No. Um, you are no longer allowed to discuss at all. If anyone does discuss when they're not supposed to, you will lose uh, points. <sighs> Everybody rolls. Whoever rolls highest has to go first. Whoever rolls lowest has to go last. The middle two can go in either direction, but someone has to volunteer to go before the other. And you guys are not allowed to discuss as oh to what you want to do. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Tom. Uh, <laughs> That's that. I, I don't think that. I don't think that Thaddeus rolled. Uh, I did. I got a fifty-seven. Oh, you did roll. Okay, so what's everybody's numbers? Zero. What? <laughs> Mine's were re-rolled! Rude! I had like 19! I am 74. And I am 57. Okay. Who do I have to kill? So, uh, cause, uh, cause, uh, Bran was right, I did notice that their, uh, their thing before was 19. Or whatever. It was like in the teens. So, Dr. Bright, automatically going first. Uh... And Tom is automatically going last. I'll remind you that both of you guys have very long extremities at the moment. And uh, <laughs> despite the fact that you guys are not allowed to discuss, uh, either Thaddeus or Bran has to volunteer to go second. So, Dr. Bright. I'll go second. Dr. Bright, okay. you're not allowed to discuss. Yeah. You're not allowed to discuss. You both lose a point. Okay. <laughs> All. And there you go. Uh, Dr. Bright, go first. WWE on these eggs. Okay, so you start doing fucking sick wrestling moves to the eggs. Like, you pick one of them up. By the way, they're fucking huge. <laughs> they're like the size of you. You take, one of, you take one of the eggs. Immediately, the egg begins to, like, vibrate. <laughs> clearly responding to your body heat. And you just fucking arm bar chuck it into the wall. And it shatters into a million pieces. But you do take note of something that's kind of important. Uh, the goo that was inside the egg immediately burns the wall to smithereens. And it's gone. It's clearly acidic. I will say oh, that uh, I will allow you to adjust your response. Now that you know this new information. Are you going to change what you're going to do, or what are you going to do? Uh, I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to... Am I strong enough to pick these eggs up and toss them? You just did, so yes. I just did. All right, so I'll just continue doing that. So you're going to continue actually, picking up the, the eggs, eggs on the just... other eggs. Oh, very good idea. So you're going to pick up the eggs and smash them against each other. Yes. Okay. Uh, so now someone has to go second. Uh, I will. Excellent. What will you do? Um, I'll stand guard by the open wall with the rifle out. Load. I'll load my rifle. The open. The, with the, real bullets. The open wall, the one that just got burned. Yeah. Uh, that leads into more of the cabin, so it doesn't actually lead to the outside. The only thing that you can see right now that's to the outside is the door that you just came through. I'm glad the uh, door then. I figured it'd be about the same thing, so I figured I'd ask. So I figured I'd uh, illustrate that. Okay, so you're gonna stand guard by the door, anticipating something. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Bran, you have to go next. First, elevator slash fridge? Question mark. <laughs> slash fridge. <laughs> um, so you're going to look for something useful. First, quickly. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to say you have the option of either looking through your immediate surroundings or you can do a more exhaustive search of the adjacent rooms. Uh... <laughs> uh, 
Um, quick. You're going to do a quick of your immediate surroundings. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I forgot to say this before to uh, the, the two of you, sorry. But Dr. Bright, you lose three points, and uh, Thaddeus, you lose two points. Uh, in response to Brand's action, uh, you, since you're looking for stuff, you notice two things immediately. You do notice that there is a faint red light entering the kind of common area that you're in now from the adjacent room that's in the back left-hand corner of the, of, of the location. Mm -hmm. Uh, you also hear a lot of extremely close footsteps. Almost like a stampede. Okay. Time for the final action of the turn. Uh, Tom. You wait, also... wait, wait, quick search, second part. Oh, uh, okay. Fine, fine. <laughs> what will you do quick then? Search. Pick up egg. You're not strong. <laughs> oh, try and fail? <laughs> you try and fail. So you're, so, okay, so Bran tries to lift up an egg like, uh, like big brother Dr. Bright is doing, but can't, and so just kind of rolls one into another. Turns out, they're extremely fucking fragile, and although the one that she rolled into does not break, the one that she did topple over does break onto the floor, or sorry, he, uh, does break onto the floor and leak acid literally everywhere, burning a small amount of Bran's shoe. Great. Behind Bright. So you're getting behind Bright, and that's going to be the last thing you do? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tom? I'll do the exhaustive search in, like, the adjacent rooms or whatever. Similarly to Bran, you also take note of the fact that there is a fucking stampede outside. It's very loud. God. A lot louder. Um, and you take note of more or less the same thing, of the red light. You try to make your way over to that room, there's just too many eggs, and the eggs are now all starting to vibrate. God. Uh, <laughs> allow, allow me to roll. You guys are oh, so fucking lucky. 82. Oh. Alright. Um, everybody roll again. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait, sorry, I have to press that. That's not good. Damn it. <laughs> What's everybody's number? 19. 89. 28. I just realized 11. I didn't actually change my... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> my my uh, Twitch category. So I, I we've been streaming under the category of World of Horror for the entire SCP thing so far. I mean, it kind of is. is a it's kind of a world of horror. Yeah. Horror. Um, it's pretty right, accurate. Sorry. So so who had the highest number? I think uh, we right. 89, so... So 89, yeah. so you're going first. Who had the lowest number? Uh, I did. Uh, uh, 11. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. understood. So, uh, Dr. Bright... What will you do? Uh, are all the eggs gone, or...? Oh, there's so okay. many left. You have been exhaustively taking eggs and fucking smashing them against each other as, like, hard as you can. There's just so many goddamn eggs. Oh, <laughs> there's no. so many. Um, and I will say, before you choose to do an action, even you, in your complete obliviousness, now notice that there is... It's like noise coming from the outside. Oh. Why did I have to go first? Is there a place that I can hide? Uh, kinda? It should be noted that this entire structure is very dilapidated. It's just rotting wood. Just thoroughly, the whole thing. The whole shebang. It looks, like, right. if you, it looks like if you pushed on like a wall, the whole fucking thing would fall in. Interesting. <laughs> so there's a roof above us, yes? Yes. There's fucking holes so, in it, but yes. So what you're saying is if I bring the roof down, all the eggs could get smashed? I mean, in theory, <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh. Well, I, th I think 
I think I know what I'm doing. Aww. Ask yourself, what would Dr. Bright do? What, what would Dr. Bright, Bright do? do? Probably some dumb shit. <laughs> fucking smash the walls so that the whole thing could collapse on us. And hopefully we'll survive. So you with your fucking long spaghetti limbs are, <laughs> are, are, are going to start punching walls just like punching through rotting wood to try and bring the roof down? Yes. Okay. For reasons, I will say that you start doing this, and you may or may not finish later. So, uh, so uh, Thaddeus is automatically going last, so someone has to volunteer to go second. Me? Question mark? Bran goes second. Go ahead. Um, Bran, what do you do? You uh, were hiding behind Dr. Bright, who is now flailing around like a fucking madman. Um, like a, like an angry rigatoni. <laughs> he is smashing uh, <laughs> as much as he can. Find elevator butt domino egg. That's an interesting oh. idea. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna propose to you another uh, conundrum. Oh. You can either lose ten points and take some time to set up a bunch of eggs so that way they will domino into each other or on your way to looking for the elevator which by the way that would still lead to you looking for the elevator or on your way to the elevator you just push over as many eggs as you can that one will only cost you like one point well no die yet (laughs) domino time okay lose ten All right, so you set up a bunch of the eggs in like a really, a really like hodgepodge like domino Rip situation, Goldberg. and you tip <laughs> over one of them, which gives you enough time while they're all falling and like shattering into each other to look for the elevator, which you have an idea where it is because of the light. And as you go, you see that the light has turned yellow. Yellow. So you go. You turn that corner, lo and behold, there's the elevator, but the light is not green, it's not red, it is yellow. You do not have enough time to press the button before Tom takes his turn. Tom. Are there, how many eggs are left? Tons. Fuck. Tons. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot, like, there is more or less a clear path, quote unquote, from, like, the front door to where the elevator evidently is. But it should be noted that now that uh, Bran dominoed a bunch of eggs everywhere, it's all just covered in acid. Can I uh, hop my way over to uh, Dr. Bright and attempt to help him fucking bring the roof down? Sure, about to say, with your elongated limbs, you can try with to my assist. elongated limbs. Hell yeah, brother. Sure, so you're, Hell yeah, so you're brother. So, okay, so the both of you are now smashing up the thing. Yeah. Okay. And Thaddeus, you are acting last. Uh, while everybody else was doing crazy bullshit, uh, you were, as this great security-ish type thing that you are, <laughs> were watching the door. And once again, I'll repeat that it was so dark that you can't fucking see the, <laughs> the hand in front of your face. And who is directly in front of you but a five foot six chicken man. His God. mouth is completely oh, agape. He doesn't really have a beak or anything like that, but he doesn't have any lips either. It's terrifying. His giant fucking horrible ass teeth, his like chicken wing arms, his giant ostrich legs. His body is just like engorged with something. Who the fuck knows? And he is just suddenly right in your face. I will say that you get I, I shoot an, it. you get an immediate well, let me finish. You get an immediate action and then your actual action. Depending on what your immediate action is, will determine how many points everybody is about to lose. Aww. Once again, no discussion. What is your immediate action? Uh, uh, my immediate action is to like yell, "They're here!" and then I shoot it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Dave. <laughs> All right. So because you yelled. Everybody now knows to get the fuck out of Dodge. Bran runs over to the elevator and, like, tries to hit the button. 
and the button doesn't make the same like dinner noise as it did before it just doesn't do anything the light is still yellow frantically mashing the button as much as they possibly fucking can uh dr bright and tom are like all right and just start like doing the same smashing thing that they were doing before but now in the direction of where they hear a brand mashing the button as much as they can and you go and you shoot the chicken man that's directly in front of you guess what you succeed in fucking obliterating its chest area however unfortunately Aww. it does spray you with some sort of acidic uh, uh, acidic fluid the entire body of the chicken man just completely melts just bubbles into nothingness and there's just a giant gelatinous pool of just acidic flesh in front of you and what does it leave behind but an egg <laughs> that's just sitting there right there um so everybody loses five but then thaddeus loses an additional 10 so thaddeus loses 15 total dang uh 27 bad chicken man <laughs> so that was your immediate man. action I'm going to say that both of these things was your immediate action. That was your immediate response to suddenly, boom, fucking chicken man in your face. Um, you now have your regular action. What will you do? Getting the fuck out of here. You're running towards the, the place where you hear the oh, elevator? Oh. Yeah. Okay. You all start booking it. Chicken men <laughs> are now fucking jumping through the windows and they are screeching like no like no tomorrow um where thaddeus just decimated that other chicken man he turns around briefly and sees two other chicken men like crouching down and with jaws that definitely should not open the way that they do they just create like a tube and are just like just like sucking up the acidic flesh and shitting out eggs <laughs> Like, like it's nothing. Oh my God. Just shitting them out like nobody's business. Um, <laughs> Thaddeus has the brilliant idea of with the other shot that's in his gun, because I'll remind you that, you know, the, the, the elevator was on, like, the left-hand side of the building. Thaddeus takes his shot, identifies, like, a single rotting piece of wood that just so happens to essentially be holding up the entire right side of the building and fucking shoots it. All four of you make it towards the door and you're all standing there as Bran is like mashing it. <laughs> the light is still yellow. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, you hear... That the entire it. I'm getting me mallet. That's it. I'm getting me mallet. <laughs> Get me mallet. The entire structure is creaking and groaning with the stress of you know its own wear at this point, and you can see just because all of the chicken men have like a gentle glow to them, it, there are now so many of them around you that you can like see as if it's early dawn. Like that's how bright. It is. That's just Good how many. Uh, I'm going to do one more roll. Aww. Oh, shit. I forgot to actually. You succeeded. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Yay. I hit the 80, but then turned to the, like, the zero, and I just, like, I nearly died. So... <laughs> We all nearly died. All the chicken men are now like standing there and like doing like this head bobbing thing back and forth, like side to side, and they're like, "Fucking okay, bro." <laughs> they're like, they're like, they're like slowly creeping up towards you, and you hear a snap, just a sharp, and the whole ceiling falls in, just egg goo just splashing everywhere you see just like tons of chicken men dying through their own like offsprings acidic fluid the door light turns green the <gasps> button activates uh -huh. the door opens you all enter inside however one of you does have to be slowest roll oh Aww. shit <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, no! Numbers wide! Who is the slowest? How'd you guys do? I got 80. 44. 89 I got again. 7. Wait, so, who, wait, so who's 17. lowest? 17. Dave. Dave. I am. Thaddeus. Oh, Thaddeus. Thaddeus, no. the fucking tremendous no. hero that you are. You make sure that everyone else makes it in first, and you, you know, go in as the door is closing, similarly to before. One of the chicken men fucking grabs you by the leg and just, in inhuman fashion, just tears your fucking foot off. No. Oh. He bored me. You can see... You can see... The foot, in, in the last moments, like right as you like go through the thing, you're like, ah, oh, fuck. You you look and you see, you can s literally see your foot go down its fucking disgusting gob into its stomach, churn for a split second, and then get shit out the other side in the form of an egg. Just egg. like that. The door closes. Evil eggs. Congratulations. Not only did you guys succeed in that encounter but that was one of the five challenges <laughs> one oh. of the five missions Ooh. thaddeus more like daddy yes <laughs> <laughs> right. we salute a king i'm not gonna lie <laughs> no nope. i got i gotta present this as a possibility and you guys can say no i want to do another one of this game? No, well, just like one, just one more encounter. Room. Oh my god, I do need to go eat eventually. <laughs> Come on, just one more. It it'll be it'll be it'll be like. Is everyone else up for it? Yeah, I can Whoa. do one more. Uh, Zach, are you sure? We we're kind of ending off a high note if we end here right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, true. fine. How about we do? How about we do a digestive like? Okay. Let's talk about it. Yeah, like let's talk about what's happened so far, both in character and out of character, and then a lot, a lot happened. Probably pick this up tomorrow. The recap episode. I'm not gonna. Like I'm not gonna. Tomorrow. I'm not that gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Like I really wanted to have like Saba play spooky games tomorrow, but this was just a good time. <laughs> this was really fun. Was really like, fun. I, like, I, like obviously, like figuring out the mechanics as we go. I tried to keep the mechanics as simple as I possibly fucking could. I need to have a better memory of like okay this is how people are losing points but i love the advent of like all right you have 60 seconds figure out what scp this is <laughs> my god there's so much to freaking look through <laughs> and that's the point <laughs> as we as we as we go forward uh you guys will theoretically get better you know uh, true true do not like the chicken chicken you did lose a I... foot. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I forgot. I forgot to mention because of the acidic nature of the chicken men's bodily fluids, it fucking hurts, and you did just lose your foot, but you are not bleeding. It's like immediately cauterized by the acid. As soon as you said, like, it looks like ostriches, I'm like, oh fuck, no, 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 no. <laughs> you hate ostriches, great. No, because I knew it was the Chicken Men. Oh no! The Chicken Men is a quite is quite a famous SCP uh, oh, agent. Yeah. So. Okay. I have not. I've seen that image before, but I did not know it was an SCP. Yeah. <laughs> I should look this up. Hopefully, nothing grotesque appears on my. <laughs> well, it's I mean, terrifying. it's the it's the image that's in your handbook. I purposely made everything black and white just to try and make like obfuscate it more. Um. So yeah, I, like I also I also like how uh, Bran was like like it was like what's what's an SCP that you encountered and Bran is just like nonchalantly nine six three. Oh, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. Uh, By sorry. the way, I was flipping through the manual <laughs> and I I figured one of you is out. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> I did. I'm glad you figured it out. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, some well, some individuals have special abilities, which I think is real. I think this worked out really well. Each of you has like a special thing that you can do. I'm not gonna lie. I'm 
surprised because I was really expecting Dave as soon as the chicken man showed up. I thought you were going to fucking like uh, suplex toss <laughs> one of the chickens into like the darkness, expecting it to hit like a bunch of other chickens. Like that's what I thought you were going to do. That's I, did, better. I did not expect you to shoot the chicken. <laughs> I should that's have suplexed unexpected. Um. <laughs> I, I, I will say for, for future purposes, because uh, we were running, not exactly a little bit late, but like I said, uh, and you guys can kind of tell, even with me cutting down on stuff, this was obviously designed to be like a four-hour campaign, so trying to squeeze it into t t two hours did not work. But um, right. I wanted to do... We got a do... good first taste. You got a good first it taste. It was really I fun. Wanted, I wanted to do a little bit more uh, intro into like everybody's like thing. Um but I don't think we will. I think I like the idea of everybody not quite getting how other people's abilities work. Um, maybe Dr. Bright has been found out, but others maybe not so much. Um, <laughs> but uh, I do... <laughs> Which, yeah, by the way... <laughs> because Dr. Bright right now is inhabiting the body of Dr. Gerald, which may or may not imply that he's also that SCP at the same time. But also, you guys were elongated. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like, it's really funny because like i know from anybody else's perspective of like hmm i have an idea as to what uh, of what this scp is hmm this list of things to do seems really bad let's try to be nice instead and it's just like i didn't mention it i kind of wanted to but i didn't mention it because i thought it would be like a little bit too wink wink nudge nudge but <clears throat> excuse me uh it's official SCP documentation that you were looking at the list. It was like official procedure from the SCP Foundation. Great. I was trying to imply that with the clipboard being new and the fact that there was like updated stuff in the orphanage that you were in. <laughs> But you didn't take any of it, and you were like, "Let's be nice." And I'm here to tell you, you guys may or not have igni ignited like a world-ending apocalypse. <laughs> so, so oh it is. But now we're tall. Yeah, but now now you guys are stretched out, and I'm also here to say that the shock from the chicken men has definitely like <laughs> cleared your mind, so you guys are good. But yeah, you guys are just fifty percent taller. So now Tom right. Tom is like what seven eight. <laughs> But he's stretchy I, and guys, weird. Who scaled me up on the y-axis? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um, yeah. So there's obviously other SCPs. Um, there's other ones that you guys just haven't listed yet, which I don't know if you just didn't figure it out or if you did, which is fine. That's okay. But um, yeah. So uh, we'll obviously be ending this here in a minute, but I did want to get any sort of feedback from people because uh, for those of you who have done, uh, you know, game night stuff with me before with like me being like a GM type thing, you know that I kind of do things a little fast and loose just for the sake of like narrative and brevity. Um, I say brevity as we're on almost hour three of this two hour campaign, but um <laughs> Yeah, d does anybody have any, like, feedback? I, th I thought it was real fun. I thought yeah. it was fun. Man, writing is harder than I thought. I know, you were just constantly <laughs> doing, like, one-word things, and I was yeah. like, and I wanted to say, Bran, remember, you can rhyme to give No, I know, I just couldn't think of anything. <laughs> so, 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 how about, so how about that? I won't say anything else about Bran's character, but Bran's specific thing is that they can only speak in either one-word phrase, one-word sentences, rhymes, or alliteration. They can only do that. Which yeah, look at the look at the back. That's of, hard. Look at the back of Bran's card. <laughs> and uh, under under oh. the uh, under the expertise and qualifications. I, I I did enjoy what you did for me though, Zach. I thought that was pretty funny. Of the uh, <laughs> uh, of the stuff involving your special your special yeah. ability. Just the second message you sent me, or like the I got the feedback I got from you was pretty funny. <laughs> well, it's just, you guys are all like, do 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 do. Let's be nice to this girl, and I'm like, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> like if you know, if you hadn't rushed to the to the to the to the elevator to like open it, you guys were all fucked. You were all about to die. <laughs> like... Y'all were saying this uh, SCP. I said SCP. Yeah. 
SCP Wingdings. <laughs> wingdings. <laughs> it was like either Wingdings or Apocalypse, and it was like maybe Wingdings. Like, like it only hit me afterwards. No, I think it's page four with people. like uh, the the sex cult one on page four. <laughs> the sex cult. cult. Um, I I obviously no, won't no. confirm or deny, but I will say that you guys did encounter SCP Wingdings. Uh, some of you no. may have gotten more intimate with them than others. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the, yeah, it's the, gotta be the mummy. No talk, yeah. no save, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really, <laughs> I really... <laughs> what? No, just Dave being like, man, who the fuck is... <laughs> who the fuck is blank Reginald. and then just lights turned down, everything swallowed by darkness gets wrapped up. <laughs> pulls into the darkness is dead first death of the game so i didn't say this because i wanted to see if it would occur uh naturally but uh so you guys saw that sometimes when characters are dead there'll be like little like trivia essentially of like to like bring them back um essentially it's me trying to test whether or not you guys are like paying attention however after your third death in a session which, by the way, when we do this tomorrow, it's still the same session because it's still your same shift. Uh, which, by the way, all of that that just happened occurred in one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So that all occurred in three hours. Oh my You're God. not even halfway through your shift. <laughs> hey, it's real time. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's real time. It takes about half an hour per. But, um, but yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah. So in the same shift... Every time after your third death, it's like it's gonna get way more difficult <laughs> to. You mean I'm gonna be twice as stressed out as I already am, or everyone else well, seems to be having a great time? Lawrence has already died <laughs> twice. <laughs> so haven't you? Yeah. I almost. Really no, no, actually, died sorry, I forgot. Uh, Tom, you did not die twice. You died once, and then the other time when you touched the meatball, <laughs> you you instead instantly <laughs> vanished. No, but Lawrence died twice. I, Lawrence, I, did, I sure Lawrence did die twice. He died once in a fiery explosion. And what was the first time he died? The meatball. Right. You got, <laughs> the cow. Oh, right, because the both of you got sucked Yeah, into yeah the that was my first death. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Uh, if, if I lived through that encounter, I would have just said, all right, everyone, let's just carry the couch to the elevator. <laughs> I was thinking about doing that. Like, like if uh, if uh, Doctor Bright and Lawrence had survived, to be like, "Hey, do you think we could take this back to an apartment and we just take the couch with us?" <laughs> Which, by the way, I also really enjoyed um, being like, "Okay, this is what this is." Like, I describe it as like a meatball in the middle of a warehouse, and Dave who hadn't looked at the thing prior, immediately identifies it by picture, I assume, of like, yeah, that looks like a meatball in the middle of a warehouse. <laughs> as Grant, yeah. Grant immediately jumped to conclusions as to what he, he wanted I want to be. Ikea. <laughs> yeah, the Ikea. <laughs> I want Ikea. He I was wanted... like, Grant, why are you talking about Ikea? That's definitely not. <laughs> because Ikea is not Ikea is not a giant empty warehouse with a meatball. Oh, did I you think meatball I, because of yeah, the, the Swedish, Swedish meatballs? Meatball. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so you that, I think that's what he was thinking about. Oh my god. Yeah. That's, that's hilarious. I didn't even think about that I, connection. Yeah. Well, I kind of uh, want to ask what people's favorite one SCP that we faced was. The favorite room. Um, you can just describe the situation if you don't remember the number. The first one. I like the, room, <laughs> the rooms with all the sign. The, the room side. with all the sign. Oh, the where mummy, you got sucked the mummy up man. By... The mummy I, one. I like yeah, the I like the one with the woman because that's just me being nice. But then <laughs> slowly realizing, <laughs> like, ooh, this was maybe, maybe not nice. the right thing to do. Um, <laughs> you guys have clearly figured out what that one's supposed to be. And just for those of you who aren't super aware, there's actually a lot more lore that goes into, like, the Seven Sisters storyline. But it's literally the thing where it's just, like, each of the sisters, of which there were seven, they awaken, essentially, when they encounter, like, pleasantries. 
but the thing is that the sex cult that originally had them knew that, which is why they were horrib- like they were horribly suffering at the sex cult. And then they were brought into the like SCP Foundation, like the SCP Foundation took over the orphanage. <laughs> And, like, I love reading those stories because the first sister, they just treat her like, you know, a normal person. Boom! Immediately turns into a giant fireball and, like, kills 20,000 people or something by by rampaging into the nearest town. And it's like, oh my god, that's so terrible. And then the second one, uh, they they treat them like a prisoner, right? Because it's like, okay, now we know that you're aggressive. They treat them like a prisoner. But because they get fed every day, that counts as nicety. And so oh, she turns no. into, like, a horrible tentacle monster and, like, kills 20,000 people. And it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> and so it's just, like, <laughs> Grant and Lawrence be like, be they, like look yeah. at the, they look at this list of, like, horrible, torturous stuff. And once again, I should have said that it had, like, SCP, official SCP documentation on it. But you guys just being like... That's pretty oh. nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I swear just, it was the other one. <laughs> I was just, I was just looking at my page, like, what the fuck does this mean? By the way, <laughs> since we encountered a room, we're not going to go back there, right? Uh, back to the failure. Yeah. Uh, in theory, you technically could. Uh, technically, you're allowed to go back to that area. Uh, but, but uh, like... you do not have to. It may or may not affect things later. <laughs> Oh my god, because I was going to say, can you just tell me what it be like, the whole wingdings thing mean, but then if the possibility of us going back is real, then you're just going to be like, nah, can't do that, so. Well, I mean, what does everyone else think? I mean, I could just tell Saba. Cause, cause... About... I mean, I... you've told me about it already, Zach, <laughs> like, oh, back when right. you were do- well, doing Lord the deep dive into too. FTP. I, I also know about wingding. So the only one, yeah. so the only one who doesn't know, in theory, is the person who died to it. <laughs> Rip Dave. Yeah. And do, do you also want to know? This can be like the final thing. I'll just tell you how that SCP works and then we can move on. Oh, also, my favorite was Gerald, obviously. <laughs> I'm glad Gerald. you liked that. It's I just, was... the, just the thing of you getting onto the bus and Gerald's immediately like, I'll go. And all Alex of you, all of you no. are immediately like, this is no, no bad idea. Like, Tom is trying to be nice and be like, oh no, I'll drive. I have, I have, you know. Whatever. And then I blink out of existence. <laughs> blink out of existence. And it's just, and Gerald's like, all right, it's only me then. I'm the only one with the driver's license. <laughs> a valid or, driver's license I'm, in in nowhere. I'm though. surprised that my plan to get off work. Of right, oh my God, that stop. was so good. Thank you, Dave. Because well, that's the thing is that G- Gerald doesn't. Gerald just wants to get to work. That's all he wants to do. He doesn't want to keep you guys there in the fiery explosion. <laughs> that's why when he rang the God. thing to stop the thing, it worked. It was fine. Genius, and then Dr. Bright Genius. doing Dr. Bright doing exactly what Dr. Bright does of like just getting on top and be like, Whoa! Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna surf it. Oh god, it's so oh, funny. That was great. But yes, wing dings. Right, okay, so uh that SCP Ooh, I'm actually not gonna lie. I just got like a weird like thing in my chest of like cause cause the cause the trick with that SCP is that you're not supposed to talk about it write about it or save data about it if you do like essentially that scp it's weird it's kind of like the ultimate narcissist in the sense that it it lives in the dark uh, it lives in the darkness but it will also just create darkness to go to a new location and anything that vocally like that audibly visually or whatever in any case acknowledges its like specific information i.e its name or its dimensions or what it feels like to die by it you know stuff like that it will go and take it into its dark dimension and it will never be seen again so that's why when uh thaddeus was like who the fuck is blank that's why it showed up because he acknowledged its name and that's like the point of the button that you press is that the button doesn't store the information it just has like a synaptical relay that makes it so that way it sends electrical signals to your brain that suddenly puts its name inside your head as long as you don't talk or write about it you're fine so the correct procedure for that is just to walk in and walk out 
No, because the door... Uh, uh, once again, I didn't actually say it immediately because I was expecting you guys to look, but uh, the door light was red. You had to press the button and conduct a test, quote-unquote. But what I expected to happen... <laughs> Because, once again, <laughs> you guys didn't look at any of the desks. You just immediately threw everything off the desk and arm wrestled. There was paper and pens on the desk. I wanted someone to press the button, be like – because, like, the thing says it tells you its name, and then it also says do not say its name. So I was hoping that Thaddeus would do that, turn to a paper, write it down, and be like, what's this? And then have the paper snatched out of his hand. <laughs> but who the fuck is blank? <laughs> <laughs> it just immediately gets fucking vacuumed up into nothingness. Huh. <sighs> yeah. This was super fun. Super fun. Uh, yeah. So, so I think we'll one adjourn... of my favorite. Oh, sorry. I hope we meet malware. The malware one. I like that one. That is. Is it in? Cool. Is it in the book? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. in the book. Because I remember talking to you about it, and it's like it's a, some big fucking demon. But then it's like it's not hostile. It just sends you pictures of it, like getting oh, closer. Right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember that but one. It doesn't appear to be hostile, and it's like that. That shit's wild. Well, because like that. That's I... the, well, because that's the thing, right? If you actually read like the the extended like narrative stories that like people have written about it, it doesn't appear to be hostile because it doesn't overtly attack anybody. But the people do just leave is the thing like because like the thing is that it sends you pictures of it being closer and closer to your location but then it starts sending you pictures of it at the locations that you're already at so people then go to those locations and then are never seen again and it's not uh... and it's not explicitly stated that they die or anything like that but it's more along the lines of implied that they are now led by the nose through their life by whatever this thing is so it's not that it's it's not that it's bad it's just not good. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I'm so excited for the vending machine. Oh, <laughs> I wanted have to do that in the cafeteria. <laughs> so I'm not going to... Oh, that's where you thought the vending machine was. Nice. Yeah, um, I wanted to try. I'm not going to lie. So I, I put the... I put the... The stuff, I didn't put them too close together, but I didn't want to spread them out too much because I didn't want you guys to like take too long. I can't believe that you guys have gone through three hours of your shift and have only done one objective. Whoa. But you succeeded in that one objective, which is good, which means True. you just need to succeed in two more and then get to the eighth hour of your shift, like, finish it, and then you guys are done with your shift. Like, that's great. But, like, oh my True. god. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, excuse me. Uh, the only other thing that I wanted to make sure was noted, so I, I saved the status of the game, so tomorrow we can just immediately load back into this state, uh, so that'll Perfect. be good for tomorrow. But um, I do need to make sure that it's perfectly illustrated that Grant and Lawrence, your characters do know the name of SCP Wingdings. So you might be able to use that in the future if you're clever. Ooh. Yeah. So just oh, keep okay. so just keep that in mind because once again it's one of those things where it's not explicitly good, but it could be useful. So just think about that. All right. Just carve the name. Oh, we should have just carved the name into all the chicken eggs. Well, I don't know if you would have enough time to do that, but you know that's. An oh, did you like idea. my domino play, Zach? Your domino play was very Saba. <laughs> in the sense of it being like, dude, you don't have to do this. Like, because the thing was, was that you was but that it, it was already worked. it well it, well it worked, but it was also already established that fucking Grant and Lawrence were gonna take down the ceiling. <laughs> so literally you all you did was down. make it. Literally all you did was just make it more difficult to get around because you put acid everywhere. <laughs> we bring in the roof down. I like my down. art projects. <laughs> you taking the time to like set up some eggs and then knock them over and you just be like yeah i did this i did that <laughs> i contributed uh and it's just really funny because once again dr bright died twice dr bright is probably going to be more lenient in terms of like punishments for death and stuff uh just because like that's associated with their character Wrong. Thaddeus, I'm extremely proud that you've only died once because, as I told you <laughs> in the messages before, I was expecting you to die left, right, and center. Um, Tom. I... Hello, I rolled to wrestle the wingdings. <laughs> <laughs> I, say, I, call out, I call out its name and then challenge it to a wrestling match. 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just really funny because like Brand did not die and ends off That's this true. particular session at 66, which means you only lost 34 points over the course of the entire thing. And that <laughs> nice was with, job, Baba. And that was with me towards nice the job. end, like trying to like trick you into getting to like lose more points, but you were always just doing like the reasonable thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. She has I know the one it's not as so... fun, but let's be honest. Everyone else was doing unreasonable things, so me yelling True. at them because I'm frustrated about them is also actually making we it all... more fun to a certain degree. We all share the same brain cell, but Saba has it for like <laughs> most of the time. Saba has it for 99.99% <laughs> of the time. <laughs> and the rest of us have to fight for the last... We have to, we have to ask Saba politely to use it. <laughs> so, uh, I do want to ask real Brand... Oh, sorry. I do want to ask real quick before we leave. I'm speaking specifically to Lawrence just because, uh, well, you'll understand in a moment. But um, not that I don't want to keep working on uh, the uh, Inhumane project yeah. that you and I have skipped out on two weeks in a row. Mm -hmm. But can, <laughs> at some point, maybe when you graduate or something like that, can we kind of direct – like not exactly an animatic like it doesn't need to be fully animated but just one of those things where it's just like our audio overlaid with like images of like what's happening during this thing because oh, the whole I, SCP thing that's hilarious just because i can totally see it in my mind of just like thaddeus standing there chicken shows up he goes they're here everyone else like fucking runs and he just gets <laughs> covered in like acidic blood and it's just like oh and then like <laughs> and then just like like you guys like going up and be like oh how you doing are you okay she screams <laughs> eyes start going <laughs> glowing is just absolutely we'll we'll talk about that later but i think that'd be a really fun project to work on like me doing just like the video editing for it and just be like okay we need a scene that's this like those like those videos will be like i don't know because how long was it to go through two rooms that was like an hour right just based on math Pretty we much. could probably condense yeah. we could probably condense an hour into like eight minutes <laughs> I think. Uh, all right. I'm leaving. I'm shutting down the server. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, hey, good night everyone. And oh, hello, so food. Oh, yeah. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Same time. Bye.